Okay. What's going on, everyone? <laughs> uh, it's Dan here. Welcome. Hopefully, I don't have to do this any more times. Welcome to Gran Turismo 7. Honestly, don't know if it... it, it the more and more, I, more takes I do, the less genuine the intro sounds, doesn't it? Anyway, welcome to Gran Turismo 7. Really excited to be jumping into this. Uh, I've been playing Gran Turismo games for a long, long time. Although I haven't done any for the channel. Uh, I've actually, like, I've, I've been playing, like I said, I used to play this game back, like, the originals back in, like, you know, the PS1 with my older bro, and I would just annihilate him. So, I'm excited to move on to this one. The last one I played prior to this was, uh, Sport, but I played it at, like, an e E3 preview. Uh, you know, whenever that was, they had announced it at that point, we played the, there was, like, a demo there on the floor. Anywho, for those of you just joining us wondering what the hell is going on with my stream, well, it has to do with a couple of things. One thing, copyright. Two things, that the fact that I'm a giant buffoon, and I'd say that's the bigger one. So, um, yeah, I can't believe I did that. I'm so used to muting, like, I have different audio tracks for different devices, and when I'm on PC, there's a different audio track. So I muted that audio track, I'm like, oh, wait, dee, 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 and then I realized I'm on PS5, so I have to mute a different audio track, so the music was playing anyway. So... Anywho, sorry about this, y'all. I'm just trying to avoid a copyright issue. I, I just know, I know it might sound crazy, but um, it like these things will bite you in the balls. So um, I'm not going to risk it, especially on a big stream. If I end up doing a big stream and, I, and I'm screwed, you know what I mean, all of a sudden. So um, yeah, that's kind of my situation here. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me once again. I appreciate you all being here. Don't forget to leave a like on the stream. Say what's up in the chat. I'm not going through the chat again. I'm sorry. Um... I, I'm, I, I can't do it again. <laughs> you have already said hi to you guys today, so hello, welcome. And <laughs> we'll jump in. Okay, I'm looking. Mute that track right there. Okay, it's muted. Now we can start. World map. Jumping in to GT simulation mode. The first one. First time we've, we've they've had that in the series since, I think, Gran Turismo 4, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure. But let's go. World map. You guys can't hear a thing. That's right. Except for the beautiful sound of my voice. Okay. Do not do it. Don't do it. I'm just looking over to see like a piano track playing on my... I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> not today. Not today. Uh, let's go. Anyway. This is kind of like an intro video that shows the history of like the automobile. Where it started and where it goes through history, all the while playing a song that's most likely copyrighted and will most likely drop the elbow on my face in terms of copyright. <laughs> now watch, you'll be able to hear it through my headphones and then it'll still claim <laughs> headphones into the mic, you know? Oh, God. Good shit. What up, guys? All right, Tom, you don't have to spam it. I see you. I see you. There's nothing to sing. It's just a, it's just like a, a like a beautiful piano, orchestral track. Wouldn't it be funny if it was just like the most, rant like the music playing was like, s something silly like barbie girl or something like why would that make sense <laughs> uh, let's go i can just just look like i'm playing the <laughs> there you go what a, logan thank you so much for that super chat big player appreciate you you know what's funny is I actually was able to play the piano like by ear. Not like super good, but usually I could hear a song and then just learn it that way. The Rolling Road. Wow, that looks like a comfort. I love how everybody is so. You know what I mean? Like, this is a comfortable ride. Damn. They're doing a great job with our research and development. <laughs> you know, it's, this old shit, it's like, wow, that's comfortable. <laughs> it's the most uncomfortable looking shit I've ever seen. 
Hey, for the time, though. For the time. Oh, man. And then Louis Hamilton's in this, of course. People are going to be like, Dan, it's Louis Hamilton, you idiot. It's not French. I know. <laughs> Just calling him Louis. And then it just jumps to modern tech, like some rotors. Just seeing how far things have come, going from like all these machines that do the work. Oh, it's it's the wrong Lewis Hamilton. Are you sure? <laughs> oh. Okay, I think I can come back. Oh. I don't know if this is copyrighted, though. This one, I can't tell. It sounds like generic music to me. But I don't know. There's so much... It sounds like something out of F-Zero right now. I'm not going to lie. Da na 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 na. <laughs> it seriously sounds like an F Zero theme song. I'm not kidding. He got night. No, did he really? The Queen knighted like, like Formula One driver Lewis Hamilton. The thing is, I won't know if it's copyrighted until after the stream goes off the air. That's the point. I mean, this is pretty badass, though, isn't it? Oh, come on. You can't cop the herb like that. What are the rules of being knighted? Do you have to be like a, do you have to be a UK citizen? Or are there, are there, are there outsider? Ooh, that's CSL though. The Batwing. Or the Batmobile, I mean. FXX. The Gullwing. Ooh, that was a golden age of, of, of vehicles for sure. The detail in this gonna in this game is gonna be off the charts. F forty. I have no idea what we'll be driving because it depends what they decide to start us at for level, you know. Are we doing some rally cross for re wait? So there's drift events as well. The trucks are going to be so funny, man. Okay. That was quite the intro. They weren't they weren't shitting around when they said it was eight minutes. 
Oh my god. Oh yeah, good thing. There's actually copyrighted music top right corner. Can I go into the options menu and mute it, please? Like, is that possible? You must be Dan Q8000. Are you ready for your new adventure? Nice to meet you. My name is Sarah, your guide to the world of Gran Turismo. Let me start by asking you. Have you ever traveled to the world of Gran Turismo before? Yes. In the, in the Gran Turismo 7 world, there are things that have remained unchanged from previous versions. And then there are a few things that were before seen. These all involve driving fast and winning races. Not to mention collecting cars and learning about the deep history of the automobile. Let's get out there and explore the rich new world of Gran Turismo. First of all, you'll need a car. There's a used car dealer that offers cars at reasonable prices. So let's go check that out. Okay, before I do that, can I please just go to the options? Sound, oh, sound, sound volume. Balance sound. Is it like a turn off copyrighted music? I would love to get something like that, you know? Race sound, no, menu sound effects, where's music? Guys, is there no music? Units, miles, Pfft. come on man, we're not in freedom units today. Logan, thank you for the super chat once again, bro. I appreciate you. I'm actually baffled. Oh, wait. Volume of music. It does say that. Background music. There it is. Shut up. There you go. I'm sorry. I, I mean, it's it, it there. Now I should be able to unmute it. There you go, guys. You're finally unmuted. Oh, menu background music is off. Okay. Menu sound effects. Race background music. Unfortunately, off. Race background music. Well, nope. Ooh. Oh, that was close. Race sound effects. That way we can hear all engine noise, you know? So it's going to be good. It's going to be money for that. Good stuff. Balance. No, no, no. Race, background. No, hold on. Enhanced sound effects. No! Shh! Shut! What have you done? <laughs> Dude, that was so unfair. <laughs> Dude, just start... <laughs> I can't win with this game. They're out to get me, man. They're out to get me. All right, anyway. All right, let's actually get into it. Let's go buy a used car. How much? They give me 20,000 creds. Andy. Hi, you must be on your first trip out. Okay. My name is Andy. I am the owner of this dealership. Nice to meet you. Right now, this is the lineup of cars we have in stock. Andy, could you pick, give Dan Q8000 some advice on picking a first car? Okay, no problem. When choosing your car, pay attention to the PP as well as looks and price. <clears throat> PP stands for performance points and indicates how fast the car is. Yes, I know that's one thing for it. That's one. We literally are only given three choices for our first whip. We can only afford one of the top three. So, it's expressed by a numerical value that gives you an overall indicator of the car's performance. Oh my god. Um, this includes engine power, aerodynamics, handling, among other things. The higher the PP is, the faster and stronger the car. Since you're just starting out your venture, it'll be good to start with the Japanese Compact. Well, out of the, of the cars now, that would be these three. Okay, so we have a 14 Honda Fit Hybrid, which has 31,000 on the clock. An, uh, a Toyota Aqua S, an 11 Toyota Aqua S, which has 31,000K on the clock. And then we have the Mazda Demio XD Touring from 15 and it's got uh 23,000k on the clock. It's also the cheapest of the 3. It's probably got the lowest PP rating naturally. Uh the highest PP rating is the Toyota. That's actually before I even looked at the PP. Um I'd be, I mean, quite frankly, guys, are we sure we're car shopping or are we washing machine shopping? Cuz I mean, I, I already have a set. I'm good. My washing machine doesn't need replacing. So, anyway, um yeah. <laughs> It'll be these three. The Honda Fit, Aqua, and Mazda Demio. Anyone will serve you well. You can make your choice based on PP or design. You're free to choose the one you like. All right, so I can only afford these three right now. Uh, it's funny because I'm looking at some of these. Oh, I want that E30 M3, though. But it's a collector's item, so it's going to be expensive. Um, the Carrera RS. The STI. Oh, this is a WR. Yeah, this is the STI. I actually have 
a uh well i don't have this car but i have a uh mean isti mine's the wagon so i have, like my my winter beater if you will is a um gf8 sti so i would like that to be honest i'm just looking at this these are oh, man the r34 r34 gtrs are up in price this guy only has used cars he's got a diablo in here a Murcielago. 911, obviously. There's going to be a ton of 911s in this game. So, I mean, I don't know why I'm looking at these cars. I can't afford them. So, I'm going to pick... I think I might take the Aqua. They, they all don't look like very... I think the best looking out of all three is probably the Mazda. It looks the best, I think, out of the three. The Honda just looks like... I don't know. Like a... Like a I don't... What would you even call? I don't even know what that looks like. I can't even tell. I mean, the Aqua is like... Like that. Kind of like that. That's the Aqua. Right there. I'm the Toyota Aqua. I will save you on fuel economy. Like, that's about it. But it's also got the highest mileage. But it's only 31,000. I'm going to cop the Aqua. All right. Well, let's... Oh, what's it? Okay, it weighs 2,300 pounds. 2,400. It's got a 1.5 liter. Only 120 horses. Oof, that is slower than a bag of shit. What, what are these guys sitting at? Probably around the same thing. 136. They all have a 1.5, I would assume. 1.5 non-turbos, so, my goodness, 100 horsepower, that's from a 1.5, the Demio is so underpowered, it's got a little turbo though, it's a turbocharged 1.5 that produces 100 horsepower, bruh, I can't, I can't do either of these, I mean, look at the wheels, why am I buying this car, alright, well, we're buying, we have no choice, <laughs> Okay, there it is, the Toyota Aqua S, sport mode, kicking those bad boys in sport. Man, it, it doesn't have rims, it has hubcaps. You can't be cool in a car with hubcaps. Come on, dog. When you buy a car, you gain collector points in accordance with its price or value. The more collector points you have, the higher your collector level will be. The collector level reflects your rank as a car collector. So buy lots of cars and range collector level. Copy that. I see you picked your first car. Congratulations. So, Danky 8000, this will be your first car. Once you leave here, I recommend going to your garage and checking out your new car. Here's the thing. If you ever bought your first car, this is probably something you should go with as an adult. I mean, as, as a kid, you don't want something like this because it's lame. But trust me, this thing will save you so much money in everything. The insurance group is low. Um, the the fuel cost is low. The like a, a Japanese car, like the engines are like literally bulletproof. So you, they you could drive them into the ground. They can have 600, 700 thousand kilometers on them easily and still go. Maintenance is cheap. It's just smart. But obviously, as a kid, you want something cool, right? You want something cool. All right. Well, anyway, we purchased that. There's my whip. All right, I know. I'm cool, right? I'm awesome. Okay. Uh, Kane, it's all, not on PC. It's only on PS5, PS5, PS4. I am on the PS5 version, though. Shout out to Jinx, by the way. Jinx Custom Controllers. Copyers, link in the description. All right, well, anyway. The garage is open. Okay, let's go to your garage. Sweet, let's go. All right. Look at that beauty, man. It's a hybrid, too. So you know Johnny Polar Bear is going to be a happy-ass camper. We're in good shape, guys. We don't have to pay the uh, the tax, right? You're exempt. If you have a hybrid, you pay way less of that road tax. I don't know how it is in the UK and shit, but we don't have any of that in Canada. All right. So, it's a hybrid. I kind of want to return it knowing that it's a hybrid. <laughs> uh, this is your home base where you can switch cars, change settings. Oh, my God, those hubcaps, man. Let's just take, let's take it to the pet boys and just kind of give it an overhaul. How does that sound? You can also turn in tickets you win in races here and receive bonus items as well. You don't pay any. That's what I thought. Okay, I, th I thought so, having a hybrid. That's what's so funny because then technically, like, something like the McLaren P1 also would be exempt by that ruling because they're, it's a hybrid, you know? Or even the LaFerrari as well, you know? Or the Porsche 918. Okay, so... Escapes, movies, car, car settings. What can we do with the car? Oh, you can just tune the shit out of it if you want. Tires are set for comfort. We don't want comfort. You can change the settings of the car you're currently driving. If you change your settings and select measure, you'll be able to change. see the changes in performance in the window on the left. Settings you make can be saved in settings sheet. 
Uh, once you've saved your settings in the settings sheet, you can open them later at any time. Use the menu button in the upper right to add new sheets or make duplicate sheets. You can learn more about settings and beyond the Apex web mag. The magazine is accessible via the GT menu on top left. Be sure to take a look. Okay. So if I want to make a couple of adjusts so I can have hard comfort. Oh, that's okay. You can, oh, these are a different type. Okay. Yeah, these are your tires. Tires we want sports hard. Oh. No, I don't. I don't have anything, actually. I'm not allowed anything. Suspension. See, I have to buy these parts. That's right. Okay. They're not just going to give it to you. So I can't even modify it anyway yet. Can I change the color at least? Is it possible to change the color? But it's a used car. I mean, I'm sure you could, but you'll have to pay for it. And what's the point in that? I don't like buying red cars in like economy vehicles. I just don't think it... Red can be done... I don't know. Let's see. This is your car collection. Here, every car you have ever owned will be recorded. This is cool. I like how they do this. It's like a... Literally like a collector's item. This means that the car collection serves as a history of your car collection. Collect lots of new cars to add to your collection. Sorted by country. Germany. There's France up there. Italy. Look at all the cars. There's 424 whips in here. Japan. There's my aqua baby. You know it. I'm a Bobby girl in a Bobby world. That's aqua right there. Life in plastic. It's fantastic. We got a 1.5, and watch me how I drive. The Aqua S is peak performance. You know what I mean? Even that, you know what? That orange actually is a nicer color than the red. I would go with the orange. You know I'm ready. Every country. And then they have other, because this just, you know, plastic fantastic interior. Exactly. <laughs> My interior's plastic. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. Well, what, wait, what else do they want me to do with the... Just go through each one? Oh, they have it sorted by year as well. That's dope, man. They have a 1929. That's probably the Rolls... Oh no, that's probably a Bentley... What do they call that? Six, six and three quarter liter, the Bentley? It's got... Or, I don't know. I think that's what it is. And we have one. Okay, now we're done here. Oh... Oh, the cafe. I've already got it, by the way. Check it out. Bones Coffee. Get yours. Link in the description. Look at all these product drops I'm doing, man. It's a, it's a record. <laughs> all right. Let's go to the cafe. A cafe for car enthusiasts. People who are waiting to meet you. Are they? Oh, right. It's a simulator. People are waiting to meet with me. Okay. It's it's a sim, of course. <laughs> cafe Stroud in the woods. Dude, this is some Friday the 13th shit right here. Special place for people who love cars, including car designers, come to visit. Dude, I'm a car enthusiast. I show up with a Toyota H Aqua hybrid. <laughs> You'd get laughed out of there. No, you wouldn't. Okay, yes, you would. It depends. Come on, thank you. Go inside. <laughs> Luca. Oh, you're Seer Danku 8000. You're the dude in the Aqua. That's me. You're, out, you're starting a new adventure, right? My name is Luca, owner of this cafe. We not only serve food and drinks here, but also provide special menu books for exploring this world. The menu book contains hints and objectives for enjoying car collecting and racing. Once you complete one menu book, I'll have another one ready for you. Let's start by choosing your first menu book. All right, what do you have? Japanese Compact Cars Collection. All right, what's in there? I see. So you want me to collect all oh, the three basic cars? I see. J Japanese Compacts. Acquire all these. What do you get out of it? What do, oh, Sorry, what do I get out of it? Living the car life. The first menu, wait, what is that? Start at the first menu, okay. First menu I've prepared for you is all about collecting Japanese compacts. Your goal is to simply acquire three cars listed on the menu. You might have one or two of them already, but your work's not done until you've collected all three. You can receive the cars as rewards for your performances in, performances in certain world circuit races. An orange compass icon will guide you to the races where the cars you require can be won. Be sure to come back to the cafe once you've collected all three. Good luck. All right, guys. It's time to collect some compact cars. They've got 1.5 liter engines. Man, they save on gas. Man, it's super not fast. <laughs> it's super not fast. Dude, that Mazda has 100 horsepower. And we're going to take it to the track.
Dude, on those skinny, skinny tires. We're going to be sliding all over the place, understeering like a mother clucker. Like, it's going to be brutal. I'm ready, though. Showcase is open. All right, that's our next... Okay, wait, what was this one? Showcase, discover replays and photos of drivers from around the world. And then the world circuit. That's, that's the actual main mode. I'll go to this, though, just to kind of check it off the list before we start. The Truino. There's some cool photos up in this bitch. I like it. Have you noticed they're all Japanese? It's because it's 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 tomorrow. It's the 4th in Japan by now. So it says March 2nd, but that's, yeah. No, these guys are way ahead of their game. To be fair, though, this this uh, the embargo for this one actually like went off at like in the middle of the night, like at 3 a.m. or something local time. Anywho, World Circus time. Let's see what we got. All right. The Americas. So you just, I guess it depends how long each one is. So what's our first world, nor, world circuit? Northern Isle Speedway. We have won the Sunday Cup. There's no limit on the PP. That's what she said. Um, are they giving me a gift car? Uh, it looks like a CX-3. Mazda CX-3. I'm not sure. I can't tell from here on the size. What do I get out of it? Where does it show the reward? Main Rivals. It's all these guys. It's literally the Sunday driver. It's the hybrid. Oh, it's a Demio. Oh, that's a Demio. It looks like a CX-3, but I guess the Demio is the hatchback version of the CX-3. So, we don't have the Demio in North America. Just so you know. All right, let's get it. You guys ready to slap? I just beat the Honda. Honda beat. Hug that apex. Not really. Pull it out. Oh, dude, there's a there's a Prius on the track, dude. I I got distracted. There's a, there's a Prius on the track, dude. It's every Uber you've ever been in, on the track. Man, that fit is mine. This thing actually grips. I'm actually super shocked. Holy hell, this thing, I'm not even having to brake right now. Yike, oh shit. I, <clears throat> don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's a very simple track. It's nothing too advanced. Yeah, it's an Uber race. The first one to get to the customer gets the fare. Man, these people paid to watch hybrids go around a track. I don't... I, I think they need to reevaluate their life choices. Quite honestly, like... I love how it knows where I am based on my PlayStation's location. Look, it says I'm in Canada. I never told it that I was in Canada. It just knows. Gran Turismo 7. Hybrids are our priority. Mother Nature is our co-pilot. <laughs> oh man! How many? What's the final lap, guys? My racing line is covered in feces right now. That's a horrible racing line. Saving the planet and screeching some tires. Motorsport, who says motorsport can't be green? Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, clean racer. Clean race without leaving the track or any collisions. I mean, I did hit the wall, but that's not a collision. Give me that. Demio. <laughs> you need that neck brace, bro. He needs that neck brace. In <laughs> Dude, look at my kit. Can you imagine pulling up? You know? Like... <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. I love it. Literally hopping out in full, like, a full racing suit with a neck brace. And now he can go straight to work. Now he can go right back to his full-time job driving Uber. And now I have, a, I have another car to do the same. That way I keep the miles down, you know? Because Uber drivers run the shit up of their, 
their their car the mileage on their vehicles really fast so gift car acquired that demio all right let's get out of here yeah saving the planet except for the lithium ion mining exactly one one lithium ion battery causes more damage to like the the creation of one causes more damage to the environment than an entire diesel pickup during its lifetime dead serious like to run the diesel anyway sunday cup we're done back it up wait no wait what now okay the italy autodrome Maximum reward. Okay, I don't have that. I don't have that right now. I can do the Sunday Cup, though. Car type, road car. I'm going to hold on to the Aqua. Wait, what do we get out of the deal? Oh, they okay, they give us the Honda. Okay, this will be our last one. Let's go. Man, this is going to get serious. Are you... Like, listen to the intensity of that. It's, it doesn't... It's not ready. Here we go. Oh, I thought, dude, I am, I am accelerating. I am fully accelerating. Take him on the inside. Oh God, I'm understeering. I mean, I'm, I, my line is so fudged up. I'm gonna have to. My line is 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 not good. Oh, that's a bit of a corner cut. They're gonna cost me for that. They're gonna punish me. They're gonna shit in my mouth on that one. The marshal's gonna be calling in. He's like, "Yeah, you you done messed up, man. You can't you can't do any airport trips for at least a month." Oh, there's those. Oh wait, what are we talking? We have washing machines. We can fit in there. All you gotta do is pay a quarter to drive these things. And not only that, you, when you finish the race, your laundry comes out fresher than when you went in. That's the upside. Oh my god. I love how we're in drive right now, guys. We're in drive. Oh my god. That is... It's struggling to hit 140 kilometers an hour. Hard on the brakes. There's only two laps. Oh shit, I'm understeer. I'm understeering. I didn't brake hard enough. Oh my god. Guys, that was rough. Don't be afraid to brake, Dan. You gotta remember, you're not in cars that can handle the cheese. It's... It's not meant. Hit the apex. Okay, I hit it. We're good. Working on that race's line, boy. That's max speed, I'm afraid. Up this hill. Like, you can feel it understeering. It's so uncomfortable. Brakes, brakes. Back on power. Let's go. <sighs> That's all I hear. Just the, the whole crowd yawning at these hybrids. Give me that Honda Fit. <laughs> I love this celebration. He's like bringing it home mom we're bringing it home i did it i did it let's go all right well, let's go oh man i i I've, I've met my goals honestly you can't i mean i've met my challenge wish to get that honda fit it'll it'll fit right into my lifestyle 100%. I'm all about yoga, you know, driving Uber in my spare time, making a few extra bucks. You know what I mean? I'm all about that. You know? Eating a plant-based diet, it's honestly the real deal. It's the real deal. Oh, and plus, like, there's plenty of room for all my friends. You know what I mean? Like, you could fit everybody in there. 
I should start a laundromat with all these washing machines. I'd be, I, I could make money. Not only would I be Ubering, but I could charge, you know, I don't know, park them on the side of the road, do people's laundry, you know, while I'm in between races, in between Uber. I can park one car, two cars, let them do it, Uber one day, race in another, and then cycle them. That way, all the mileage just goes through nice and easy. And I'm Gucci, you know, like it's, it's, it's ingenious. Guys, I think I just figured out how to get out of this economic crisis we're in. Buy three cheap Japanese compact hatchbacks, park one, park another outside a laundromat to, to you know, create a laundromat out of it, charge some shit for that, and then race the other one. You're making money on three things. You're saving money and then cycle them. Cycle them. That way your mileage never spikes too much. Man, I am a genius. Look at that. Hang, I want this photo. I'm going to hang it in my garage. I'm going to hang this in my garage. Wow. Ooh, damn, man. Those are stunners. Whew. I, re I really needed this game, man. I mean, when will I ever be able to get a Honda Fit, a Toyota Aqua, and a Mazda Demio in at once? Dude, I can't afford that. I ain't got that money. I'm sorry, but in, in this game, it makes you realize you, your dreams are possible. Your, anything is possible. It's, I'm so happy about this. This completes the collection. Boy, I have some stories to tell you about these cars. Bro, are they Uber stories? Good call. Let's talk later. <laughs> Let's take a good look at these cars and hear what Luke has to say about them. Listen carefully. It'll deepen your knowledge and just may lead to new discoveries. So it's going to, it's going to show me different, you know, financial opportunities by saving money in the process. One star roulette ticket, a reward for competing at roulette. Okay, what is that gonna do? Do I roll it? Okay, I got all oh, the license center. You guys remember those? Getting all those S grade licenses, man. Daily workout, 9.8 kilometers. Is that how much I'm walking or driving? Stella! Let's go, okay. Menu book number one. All right, he's gonna tell us a story about all these cars. The term compact car is pretty self-explanatory. Reverse to cars with shorter wheelbases and less spacious interiors. Their compact nature makes them quite agile, making them popular with new drivers. Japanese compact cars are famous for their technical prowess. For example, the diesel engine in the fourth generation Demio. So it was a diesel? That makes more sense. A turbo diesel. That makes sense why it only produced 100 horsepower. Anyway. For example, the diesel engine in the 4th generation Demio is considered one of Mazda's true masterpieces. There's also a 3rd generation Honda Fit Hybrid, which was the most fuel-efficient car in Japan when it was released. Finally, there's the Toyota Aqua, another compact hybrid that boasts great fuel efficiency and ex excellent handling. As you can see, many compact cars ended up becoming all-time classics. Sure, the GTI maybe. Test yourself at the license center. All right. What? Who's Stella and what does she do? Okay, there's a new menu. What's your new menu? Um, test yourself. Oh, okay. I'll do that. You don't need to collect any cars at this menu. Uh, instead, I'd like you to check out the license center. Earning licenses at the licensing center is a great way to improve your driving skills, especially when you're struggling. Once you develop your skills, you can test yourself by going for the gold in all the challenges. Start off by earning bronze or better in the first challenge at the National B license. Once you score bronze or better, come back to see me. Okay. I like how much story there is to it. It's not just racing. It's like a whole thing, you know? Like, we're having coffee and talking about the best cars ever made, the Japanese Compact. Like, I mean, let's go. It's good shit, man. I love it. I am vibing. The vibes are good and strong. All right, licensing center is now open. Wait a minute, I'm gonna go back to the cafe. I wanna go talk to Stella. Hi, nice to meet you. I noticed your cool car. Did you did you bike here by chance? Did you cycle? Did you, you think my car is cool? Let me guess. Even though there's a bike lane, you took up the whole road. That's what happened. You ran stop signs, and then you got mad at a driver for not giving you enough space, so you broke his wing mirror off. Is that what happened? Ah, okay, gotcha. Hey, Stella, you're looking good as always. Her name is Stella. I think she can introduce herself. She likes car. Can, do you know how annoying that would be? It's one thing to be like, hey, Dan, this is Stella. Stella, this is Dan. But she's like, she's like, hi, how's it going? My name is, her name is Stella. All right. 
we can, I can handle this. So let me take it from here. Anyway, she likes cars a lot, a lot and visits this cafe pretty often. I love talking about all cars at this cafe. The Toyota Prius is arguably the most popular Japanese hybrid. And when it comes to subcompacts, the most popular could well be the Toyota Aqua. So this is even smaller than the... Uh... My brain just stopped working. Outside of Japan, the Aqua is marketed as a Prius C. Prius Compact. Makes sense. So really, I am in a Prius. Perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. Are you familiar with the term hot? Yes. You don't have to explain it. Oh, great. It's a car that runs on two power sources. You're still telling me anyway. <laughs> she still tells me. Gasoline, engine, and an electric motor. Electric motors are great for accelerating, and they don't burn fuel. No shit, Sherlock. By balancing engine and motor power, hybrid cars offer a very efficient driving experience. Thanks. Thank you very much, Stella. She probably gives you a bit of information on whatever car you're up with. That's my guess. Let's back out. So they want us to test ourselves in the Toyota Aqua. Let's go do it. Hone our driving skills in the licensing center for the Toyota Aqua. So we're doing a full tutorial. This is the licensing center. This is where you hone your driving techniques to become more efficient on a racetrack. Honestly, you could take any car to one of these like things and learn to drive better. That's just smart. Doesn't matter. Licenses prove that you passed each test. When you go for each license, you'll earn various driving techniques to help you become a better driver. You can also gauge how much your skills have improved to make sure you keep coming back. It's the ideal training ground for those who want to make it in this competitive world. Good point. I asked you if you never, if you don't know anything about cars, this is a good way to learn, I suppose. Welcome to the license center. I am Daniel Solis, your coach for the National B license. Hi, buddy. How's it going? Nice hair. I'm also a Gran Turismo driver from the North American region. Is that a Daihatsu Copen? That is a Daihatsu Copen. I can't believe they have the Copen in here. Really, you can't be, you cannot, as a, as a man, you cannot drive that car. I'm just saying. You'll be able to polish your driving skills here, starting with the basics such as going straight, turning, and stopping. Come on, let's try this out. What up, tired? Sup, Australian? How you guys doing? All right, do I need this? Do I have to do that? Or can, no, I can go here. All right, they're going to give me the Demio. Starting and stopping. The National B. B1 is starting and stopping. One, you need to accelerate off the line and stop inside the goal area. Relax, just keep going straight. And choose something on the side. By the side of the track, they'll tell you when to brake. When you reach that point, stop the brake pedal until you stop. All set, let's go. All right, guys. Let's take, let's take this diesel all the way to the max. Oh, what a rough start. I mean, they should get turbo noises. Holy hell, this car is slow. I fucked up. I actually did. I only got 20. That's a bronze. Dude, I got a bronze on the start. I got to redo that. No way. I didn't realize. Dun, 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 dun. No, you got to... Oof, that's slow. Rough start. Dude, it's... Yeah, I'll probably still beat it. That's a rough start. I bounced off the rev limiter somehow. I fucked that up. That was even worse. <laughs> oh my god. It's because the start sucked. Build up the... How is it? How did I have such a good start by comparison? Fuck, man, this thing is so slow. I got silver. Barely. That's fine. Whatever. Good enough. Silver's fine. I'm not driving the demo anymore. It's so slow. <laughs> All right, stop, wait. That's fine. I mean, you get money for it. We're, I want to save up to buy something better because there's no way I can drive these cars for much longer. All right, they give me a GTO. That's fine. International, am I allowed to do that? I mean, I think, do they want me to do, oh, look at all these. Ooh, they give me a ton. The final exam. All right, well, they want me to get, so there's an all gold channel. No, I'm going for it. I've got it. It's all about the start. 
Oh, I was pegging the gas pedal. <laughs> That's as fast as it goes. There's got to be a sweet spot. Good start. I think. I don't know. Holy shit, the Mazda display. I test drove a Mazda. It's literally the exact same. Ah, oh, you bitch. Dirty. It's all in the start. Decent start. Pretty solid start, actually. Hundred kilometers an hour. This thing is going fast. <laughs> hard brakes. Hard brakes. 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 Brake. Damn it! Fuck! I can't. We're not doing this all day. We're going to get the bronze on all three. <laughs> Dude, it's so slow. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I think the idea is to kind of rev it like 50%. Starting and stopping too. So it's the same kind of idea. This The car's faster than the one in B1, but your objective is exactly the same. Challenge is all about braking, just like B1. The only difference is that you're, you're in a faster car. This means you need to hit the brakes a bit earlier. Good luck. All right, let's go. Not sure if that was considered good or not. Damn it, hey. That sucked. I think this I think my start was rubbish. I'm just trying to figure out the start. Get that four wheel launch. It's not bad. The coping. The coping, bro. B3 is cornering basics. One, we'll be checking your steering skills on a right-hand corner. Let's start with the basics of taking a corner. You can just turn through this right hand or just using the steering wheel. Careful to stay on track and focus on the angle and timing of your turn. Oh, my God. That was pretty awesome, really impressive. There you go. Apparently, I'm, I'm better at cornering than I am uh, starting and stopping. Not sure if that's a good thing or not. 62 horsepower, bro. How do you get anywhere? <laughs> How do you get anywhere on time? I don't understand. All right. I feel like I should have been able to get the gold on these. I should have start stopped sooner, I think. Anyway, the Audi TT Coupe. This thing was actually pretty heavy. Uh, it brought the DCT gearbox into play. B4 is courting basics. Who's that? Same thing. Okay, we know what to do. Let's go. I remember I wanted one of these TTs so bad, but the new ones are solid. All in my plan. All part of my plan. That corner sucked, Major Dingus. Eleven. Oh, did I? Oh, silver by 2.21 seconds. I can do better than that. I can do better than that. 
Oh yeah, it, it's, it is. Meanwhile, we're oversteering. Actually, I did better the first time. Understeer, there it is. There's the understeer. <laughs> I was like, where's the understeer? There it is, there it is. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like I can get this one. Ah, oh, the drifting is causing such a ruckus. That was much better. Could have been a little cleaner. Let's go! That's what I'm talking about, dog. Just wait, these things are gonna get ridiculous. Okay. What's up, Abdul? How you doing? All right, then we're gonna get through this licensing, and then they're probably gonna get. We're probably gonna have enough money to buy a new car. That's my guess. Oh my goodness! An old Fiat, basically. I mean, it's a bar, but you know what I mean. P five is cornering basics three, and we'll drive through a series of consecutive corners. Find the right steering rhythm and use the entire width of the track. All right, let's give her snooze, guys. This thing is adorable. You, I don't really think you have to brake in these cars because they're not fast enough. How'd I do? Oh, man. I can get a gold in that. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to brake. Squealing is slow. Nice. Oh, that was so much better. Okay. Now we do the exact same thing with a bit of with a car that's a bit faster. What are we given? Sorry, I don't remember what was next. Let's take a peek. Ah, Fair Lady Z. It was a 370 basically. Corner Basics 4, same thing, just faster. I'm sure we will do a lap at the Nürburgring at some point, for sure. Oh, understeer. Oh. <laughs> this is like, no. Don't be afraid to break. I was looking at that time and I'm like, man, we're close. <laughs> that first that first corner was weak, that's why. I'm gonna try just to Yeah, that ain't gonna fly. You do have to break there. Each car feels so different though, so it's like Uh, it's, if I if my my ghost is beating me, I'm not making it. If my ghost is beating me, it's not happening. It's that first corner, but this is good. These these challenges are good because they do really teach you how to be like faster. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so close. But no, 0.8 of a second is still like an eternity though, so I gotta like shave off. That's too slow, I think. Oh yeah, see, if I overtook myself, it ain't happening. I don't have to do it, but I'm just like, I know I'm so close, so it's like... Hard brakes and then back on power. Nice! There you go. That's what we needed. Beautiful. 
All right, give me that gold. So the only ones I haven't got gold on yet are the breaking ones. Okay, Gulam, I'll do what I need, what I what I want, bro. All right, tell you what, fine. You want to do that? Bitch. Oh. <laughs> All right, anyway. Toyota GR86, a.k.a. the Subaru BRZ. There's actually quite a lot in this one. The Sin Bin. <laughs> All right, here we'll get into the basics. Same thing. It's all about braking. You need to reduce speed before entering that corner. Try to find the right spot to get on the brakes. Oh, we're at nighttime as well. Oh, no, we're not. We're in a tunnel. <laughs> Oh, I'm going wide. That corner could have been better. Actually, it wasn't terrible. Oh, close. Not bad for a first attempt, though. Let's try again. sucked yeah I was way too slow I break way too long I thought maybe if I changed my trajectory it might be better but I'm missing the apex by a long shot yeah I didn't go cut it that first corner was my best one, now I can't even replicate it. That was better though, it's better. 17.93, oh no! That was better, but it wasn't, it wasn't where we need was not where we need. I'm going to break late. Uh, see, that was not right. That's, that's bad. See, that's way too... That's shit. Choose a landmark to set it. Well, I got to try and find those extra second points of a second what did I uh, a little bit understeer full power though I'm sliding a little oh I don't know if it's faster I didn't see oh oh that was really bad actually that sucked man they're really pushing us here <laughs> Oh, seven. I, man, I'm coming to close, but it's just. I'm just trying to figure out when I should break. Seventeen nine. Oh, we got it. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. As soon as I overtook my, my, my guy, I had a good feeling about it. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, anyway, that's considered the fast one. So we're moving on now. It sucks because I still have those starting and stopping ones to get a gold on. Like once we get a gold on everything except for these. All right, the Evo, f what, four? Introduce you to the first corner of the Mount Panorama Circuit. This challenge also will find visual references on the track to remind you when to break. 
Be sure to decelerate sufficiently before entering the corner. That's the key to getting a good time. Okay, so 13.8 is our... You get, oh, so you get a ton of credits for getting it, too. Whoa, whoa. That was a rough corner. 13. No way am I getting that. Yikes. I went off crap. I went off course. Let's actually break early. Much better. Beautiful. That was so clean. That might give it to us. It did. That was so nice. That was just, I gotta see that again, man. That, that corner was smooth as silk. I did miss the apex a little bit though, but that's okay. Okay, that's good with me. See, we're at 42 grand now, so we must be close to getting our next one. Your daily workout. I love how they track that for you. You know, it's like you got to keep fit. All right, the Type R. This thing, I've been in a Type R on the track, like, you know, the FK8, and it's been... That thing is surprisingly amazing. That diff, even though the car's front-wheel drive, it doesn't understeer. It, like, the diff is constantly, like, pulling you into the corner, you know? it Like, it doesn't want to... I'm not even reading. It's the same exact thing, but it's I have a faster whip, so. We got the ketchup and mustard theme going on. Oh shit, I braked first. Man, this was a rough one. 70. Yeah, that sucked. I got a bronze. I honestly I braked too soon. I didn't really know the the quest anyway. Missed the apex by about a million years. <laughs> I love how they make it like doom and gloom. As soon as you go off track, the guy's like, you know, he's just toast. On the chicanes 16 17 and a half that's a silver i played the demo for like f1 2016 or 17 i think but not since then That is always such a clock block when you're like point hundredths of a second. Not even. You gotta just make a slightly better corner. That's rough. I don't think it's gonna work. Nope. Yeah, as soon as I saw my ghost passing me, I knew we were toast. I braked way too late. Yeah, that's rough. Way too late on the brakes. That was pretty clean. Oh, that was beautiful. There you go. I like that. It's just like practice, you know, just like practice, practice, practice. I 
I feel like I have to go... If I get a gold on all these, I have to go back and... There's only one more left. It's like it's a combination of absolutely everything. Pass this exam, you'll be issued a National B. Christ, take a series of corners. They give me a Clio RS, though. The Renault Clio. Skills and techniques you picked up. All right. Get a bronze or better. All right, so the gold is 25.4 seconds. Renault Sport Clio, let's go. Terrible line. That's a horrible line. I'm going to restart. That's trash. Each new car, you kind of got to get a little feel for it when you first use it. I missed the apex by about 15 feet. We'll see where we finish and go from there. Twenty-six seconds. It's a silver. That's not bad. I mean, I, I think I, I messed up the first corner. The first corner is just aids in a jar. So we gotta fix that. Turn in. That sucked too. Wow. That first corner feels so different. It definitely does want to understeer. You could feel it. It's a better corner. That was better. Oh, it's understeering. I don't like that. Better. It's a better lap. Or sorry, it's a better, better at the moment you get it. It's a little closer. Four hundredths of a second. I got to drop. I think. Somewhere in the house here, I don't know. Turn in. That was pretty good. Oh, the understeer, bro. Ugh. I was so set up decently for that one, but that understeer just kills. It's still understeering into the oblivion. I can't even keep it on track. It's a, see, that was worse. Even though it started off better, it was worse overall. It's going to suck because I know I'm going to end up getting the gold for this. And then I'm going to have to go back and get the gold on the other ones to appease my... I went pretty wide, but I... faster that was very close I mean I know I'm a hundredths of a second off roughly but that was pretty good I just got to find that extra time it's got to find that extra few seconds not, not even seconds it's milliseconds it's all done in this first corner Oh, I jittered. That's... Eh. It's better, but it's not as good as I would have liked. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm off track. Oh, dude, if I hadn't gone off track. 0 0.92. 0 0.92. Let's go.
I felt that wasn't as good. It's so, like, that last corner. I think that, well, the second last corner. Little jittery. Ooh, there it is. There it is. I'll take it. That was good. I'm sure people could blitz it, but... See, the beautiful thing about that is you can keep redoing it, you know? Or sorry, you keep getting better each time. And you find those extra extra seconds. But here's the thing. Now I've... I've got my national B, but I now have to get the gold on the starting and stopping because I did myself dirty like that. Are you going to give me that Renault Clio? They must give me that Clio. All right, so that's my new whip. Yeah, they gave me that. They're going to give me that. Yeah, they're going to give me the Clio. So I'm guaranteeing you we're going to use the Clio and then go from there. Save up more money. I wonder where. Okay, I, there was something else that. Hold on. Congratulations on getting your national B. My name is Coque Lopez. Cock Lopez. Okay. <laughs> In charge of the national A. I'm also a Gran Turismo competition driver for Spain, which is my home. Once you clear the, re the test requirements for A1 to A10, you'll be approved for the national A license. Just a quick piece of advice before you start. Have you been using the auto braking feature? No, I have not. If so, I'd suggest trying to learn to drive without it. I have not been using it. You'll get fast a lot of times if you do. Okay, well, now we have to go back and get the gold on these sons of bitches. I, that's the only ones I didn't do, and they're the first two. So, I kind of want to learn his, um... I kind of want to see... What does he have to say? Figure out when to hit the brakes. Yeah, it's, yeah, but what about starting? Starting's important, too. Find a mark on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's all about the start, too. That, why is it, why is, okay, so I have to rev it to the line. Like, why does it start off the line so slow? Because what do I need? I need 20 seconds, 20.5 seconds. Nineteen, twenty point. Uh, that's a rough one. I think it was better of a launch, but... Twenty. Oh, I still didn't get it. I don't think you actually have to be in the spot. I think you just have to be like right next to it. I, that part I'm not fully understanding. And yeah, there's no way. If it's ahead of me, there's no way. Look at the start. It's tripping me up. It's all in the start, too, and the guy's only talking about stop. See, it's stuttering. See, I'm way off the line faster. As soon as I'm off the line like that, it ain't happening. There's a better start. Oh, no, it's not. There it goes. Shit, hey? Shit. <laughs> I'm not even in it. Uh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Rough start. It's you're not supposed to let it bounce though. What 
Wait, did that actually do better? I've never let anything bounce off the red line, though. Oh my god! What the hell? Red line bouncing I thought was just terrible. The thing is, I wasn't full throttle. That was full throttle and I got gold the first time. <laughs> that is so funny. I mean, you gotta remember this car has 150, or sorry, like 120 or 30, 120 horsepower. I don't think it's causing any wheel spin. <laughs> I think most cars, you can't do that. Thank you, Royal. I appreciate that. Normally, I've never rev redlined it because normally there's like a sweet spot right before the red line. You're not supposed to bounce it in most cases. I just have to get one more gold and then this one's done. All right, I'll try re redlining this one too. It sounds brutal, but... Sixteen point six. Gotta break sooner. Okay, I got the silver. So So break sooner than that. If the car is heavier, it's going faster, so I can break a little earlier. Break. Ah, oh, you so close. So close. I gotta break before the stop line. Because it, like, it takes forever for me to stop from this speed, so... Break! Oh. <laughs> that was too soon. <laughs> that was too soon. So in between the 100 and 200 foot... Or meter. I don't know if it might be in meters, actually. So, between 100 and 200. Go! Ooh, there it is! <laughs> it's just so celebratory. I love it. There it is. All right, we got golds on all our bees. That's the first one. We damn well better get the golds on the bees. Let's go. Done. We don't get a trophy? I thought we got a trophy. At least we got max money, though. We did get max money. But the thing is, the more you do it, the more money you actually get out of it, I think. Oh, they gave me the GTO! Oh, thanks! That's nice of you. Cool. Well done, you've earned gold in every challenge. A new gift card has been sent to your garage to commemorate. So yeah, they do tell you that. So there you go. We got the GTO for getting all golds. Worth it in my opinion. I almost bought a GTO. Like a Mitsubishi GTO. But I didn't. Well, actually it was a 3000 GT. Not the same thing, but... Excuse me. Here's the A's. Can we go to the B's at all? Or will it let us? No, it won't let us. We have to finish these first. Oh my god, they're gonna have us in a tundra? Bruh. Alright, well, let's go back. Dude, the licenses were like... I remember people would work on them for, like, ages. Alright, well done. You did an amazing job. I suppose you've already met Daniel Solis and the other instructors at the License Center. They will all they all competed in the Grand Turismo Championships. For example, Daniel, the instructor for the National B License, represents the U.S. You can watch the instructors in action at Grand Turismo Live. Now it's time I give you your reward. It's all yours. You've earned it. Nice. Goodwood Motor Circuit. A World Circus track has been made available. And Brands Hatch. All in the UK. European Classic Compacts. Let's see that menu book. What do you want me to do? So you want me to buy... So it's a Fiat 500, Mini Cooper S, and VW 1200 from 66. So it's the bug. I mean, I'll start it, I suppose. I like, for, I like for you to now collect classic European Compacts. All three cars were built in Europe in the 60s. And they're still much loved to this day. Part of their charm is their distinctive interiors, which are totally different to those of high-tech cars of today. 
Good luck out there. I'll be rooting for you. All right, so each menu book is worth a little bit of sauce, a little bit of spice, you know? A little bit of spice. I love it. Okay, good stuff. So let's go to our garage and just take a peek at what we've got now. I'm probably going to get into a new car. Ooh, gifts. A reward for completing a menu. These are your gifts. When you receive a roulette ticket, you can trade them in here, exchange for cars, parts, etc. I'll be, it'll be exciting to see what you get. Receive it. Yes. What do we got? What are you giving me? Parts, cash. Wait. Oh, it's a roulette. We want that Mustang. Okay, well, I got money. And you know it. I didn't know when to stop it. I didn't know when to stop it, honestly. Alright. What do we got in this list? Alright. Type R. I want to go for the car, so... Stop here. Go. It won't let me stop. Oh, it just does it. It just does it. It actually just rolls it for you. It doesn't... You don't get to stop it. I thought you did. That's still 5k. It's something. Alright. A couple of gifts for us. Car collection has been improved. There you go. Oh, bonjour, mon ami. I love it has everything. And is there like, hold on, let's, let's go look at the, let's go find the Mitsu. I'm just trying to see what do they have with BM. I want to try and buy my car in game. That looks like an E46 M3. That looks like an E92 M3. That's the car I'm going for, the E92 M3. I have one in real life. That's my girl. And then at some point, they have the DeLorean, the DMC-12. Which was actually an exceptionally slow car, by the way. Now, this is peak automotive engineering right here. What up, Ben? There's the Demi. It's uh, only comparable to this. A diesel engine. <laughs> I swear you could do like a showcase, you know? It actually shows when you acquired it. That's kind of cool. Alright, cool, cool, cool. There's the Clio, RUF. And the Aqua. Peak automotive technology right there. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Anyway. Good stuff. We are on to our next world circuit. I well, I kinda wanna get to our next car already. I don't wanna I mean we're go well there's a there's there's a new challenge. There's new challenges here in Europe. Um I can go to Goodwood or Brands Hatch. Let's see what they got. The Sunday Club. Oh, look, you get a gift car. So we need to do that for the challenges. So, the Clubman Cup, it looks like you need a mini for that. So, we unlock a mini from this. Just out of curiosity, if I go to the Autodrome, I have to do it anyway. I have to do the Sunday Cup, and I'll get the fee at 500. Um, this one, we need a GT. So, like, some of these we can't even do. So, I don't even have these cars. So, I don't know if they're going to let me. But I have to probably do all three of these. Yeah, we'll get the, the bug. So, should we just go to the Autodrome? Will it, will it give me a car? What kind of car is it going to give me? Does it matter? Is it gonna is are they really gonna give a shit? Main rival cars. No, I'm not no no no. I'm gonna Will it let me? I'm just curious if it'll let me just dominate these guys. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Let's see. They might not let me. Bro, if they let me, if they let me roll in the Clio. Dude, I might be overtake. I love how there's a bus. The VW bus. I think it had like 60 horsepower and it weighed as much as the moon. So I don't think it's going to get. Oh my God. Dude, they're going to let me race against the 60s whips in this. Are you kidding me? See you later. <laughs> it's not even fair. I need you to get out of the way. Taking him on the outside. Squeeze him out. Hippie. <laughs> Whoa. Don't cut. I'm cutting. I'm being an idiot. I'm being cocky. All right, Chandler. 
Chandler, I'm going to give you a reason why the 60s are over. All that peace, love, and freedom stuff. Yeah, it was great for picking up chicks. But it's not going to help my career. <laughs> Almost went in the pits there for a second. We don't need to go in the pits. <laughs> this isn't even fair. Why am I allowed to do this? <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, I've gone over. No, no, we're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. This is that turbo, though. Understeering, understeering. I, I, my line was shit. That's why. Uh, bad line. I gotta work on my line, but it's all practice, right? Practice makes perfect. I will say though, guys, this game is quite good for like keeping things different. That's it. There's no way they can allow that. There's no way. I can't believe they they allowed me to use that car. That's so funny. By a country mile. One with a lead of 10 seconds. Or... <laughs> that is hilarious. There is no restriction on the car you can use. Wow. That is truly fantastic. I have to say 69,000. Oh man, I, that was, there you go. All for all its Italian glory. The Fiat 500. Now, hopping into the Fiat after this is going to feel like. Oh my god, it's going to feel like something special after driving that. You know what I mean? Like, it's. It is not the same. That is so funny. I mean, hey, it was Italian car for Italian car. One was a Renault, one was a Fiat. All right, we acquired it. Now we're gonna need a GT3, or a, yeah, Group 3. So GT3 car we're gonna need for that. Didn't we do this already? That's what I mean, I don't know if we've done it already. All right, Goodwood's up next. Sunday Cup, we're gonna get that Mini Cooper. I'm gonna roll with the, uh, the GTO this time. It's got a bit more power, not by much, not much more than the Clio, it's a bit older, but it's got four wheel drive. Wait, let's look at this, how much, this will weigh way more. So I honestly think, the Clio, even though it's got like less power, look at the weight. It's got over, a, it's more than a thousand pounds lighter than the GTO. So I think the GTO is actually going to be considered, even though it's got a better PP rating, it's going to be, I think, a little slower, but it's got four wheel drive. But it's also a 90s car. So things weren't as advanced in the 90s, but we'll still roll with it. Still roll with it. Sunday Cup Classic, and I've got like almost three times the power. <laughs> You know, <laughs> is that fair? No, it's not. That's okay. I'll start in the back. A skull. 1991. The year legends were born. Excuse me. Got to get through this barth. Look at this, man. It's just... Now all the 90s kids in the club. Oh, that's going to penalize me. Let's see if I care. I'm already up front. 285 brake horsepower at my disposal. Whoa! A little squiggly. That was a decent corner. That was clean, nice and smooth. Power. Excellent corner. Holy shit, that's what I'm talking about. Back on the power, let's go. Nice. 
Yes, let's go, baby. Let's go. This is badass. I am 10 seconds ahead of them. I'm understeering a little bit. A little too much speed going to that corner. Be nice and smooth. Buttery smooth. Hundred ninety K we've cracked. That we were more drifty that time, so that was a better turn. This is not a very fair race, I understand. I totally understand that, but who are you gonna tell? The marshals? They won't listen. I paid them off. It's the only reason I'm allowed to drive. <laughs> this car on the track right now. Did my headlights just come on? Oh, I braked way too early. I will say the first person cam too makes it so much more immersive. Oh man, what a track. Look at that, we're in like a whole new league. We are three decades ahead of them <laughs> right now. <laughs> Quite literally, three decades in automotive engineering. Three minutes night, they were 23 seconds behind me. I mean, what do they expect? I mean, to be fair, he, that was an 83 GTI, but my main rivals were the 60s whips. And I love how, like, on, he doesn't care. He's just like, yes. He does not care. We do not care. I love it. That's the mentality you gotta go in. It's do or die mentality. It's on, like, an adaptive. The, the difficulty is kind of like... Uh, it's an adaptive, so it changes. So I've got... I, I got mine, all my driver... Most of the driver aids are... No, I have nothing to assist me in, in like, driving except for maybe a braking line to kind of give me an idea when to brake. And once I learn it, I'll turn that off as well. Just to, to, to learn the game a little bit, learn the cars, how they handle, stuff like that. But everything else in terms of like assisted braking and all that, it's all shut off. So it's it's kind of hard to say. I mean, to be fair, it'd be a lot closer had I actually rolled with a car I was supposed to roll with. <laughs> but they definitely didn't care, clearly. All right, so we just got, I think that's, we have one more car to get and we have to head to Brand's Hatch. Oh, let me look at Goodwood again. Uh, the Clubman Cup, so I can do that with one of these. It's considered a spicy meatball, as you can see. You need a 350 PP, but look at the vehicles they have. They have minis, so must, you must need a tuned mini to do it. So anyway, we gotta get that V-dub. Do I wanna roll with something else? I mean, I could roll, like, look at the PP of 81. Nah, they can eat it. I'm gonna go in. They can eat it. I don't care. I mean, keep in mind, if you do get an ad, it does support the stream, so... The ads pop up in, you know, chronological time. And it does keep the stream going. Alright, Brands Hatch. I'm quite familiar with this track. It's been in almost every racing game known to man. I don't have to be super aggressive right off the bat, naturally. Take him on the inside. I understand that Australian as well, but they also keep the stream going. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, every time you see an ad pop up, it, it helps me generate a revenue so I can keep streaming. That's the, that's the thing. 
I don't like ads either, but I feel like they're a necessary evil. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? What do you mean, how? I, like, I get a cut of the ad revenue that comes from it, right? So, YouTube gets, like, there's advertisers that pay, um, that pay, like, YouTube a sum of money to, to run their ad on their, on their, on, you know, on the site, right? And depending whose videos they run on, they get tracked, and I get a portion of the ad revenue. So, if you watch an ad, it supports the creator. It's not just going to YouTube. I didn't even realize that was the end of the track. That was just a smooth race. It wasn't the full circuit, that's why. The indie circuit. 84,000, we are approaching like decent used car territory. But now we've got all three, we can go back to the cafe and finish that out. Stone's throw from collector level four. Good stuff. All right. So that was a bit of a cheese moment for me, I know, using a car. that I didn't think they'd let me do that. I thought they'd be like restrict me to specific cars. But now we got to go back to the cafe and get our... Get our credit for that. There it is, hanging up on the wall. See, the classic cars I get, but one day I guess these will all be considered, well, maybe not. You've got all three cars. This completes your European classic compact collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about these cars. All right, we got a roulette ticket for that one. High speed ring in Japan. Tuning shop now. No, Pete, the game is only available on PS5 and PS4. I'm on PS5 right now. All right, R read the menu book. We can talk to him about it, and then we can probably talk to... What's her name? Forget. Anyway, these cars here are some of the most famous in history. It's a truly wonderful collection. I agree with that. They are very... Especially like a cl like a mini. Like, I mean, the... Uh... Excuse me, the Bug is like one of the oldest cars to like be in production. It was still being made in Mexico all the way up to like 2003, I think. The world's first motor cars were produced around the end of the 19th century. But it wasn't until the 20th century that mass production became the norm. This meant that nearly everyone had access to an automobile, not just the select few. Back then, many simple, many small simple cars were manufactured and priced affordably, so nearly anyone could purchase one. Making, all, making this all possible were ingenious engineers and visionaries who created its icons such as look at the detail in the headlamp holy hell the mini from the uk the fiat 500 from italy and the vw beetle from germany these cars certainly left their mark on automotive history perhaps i'll tell you more about them next time that was sick good stuff all right well we got our next menu book let's take a look what he wants from us now High-speed ring track day. All right, you want me to complete the high-speed rings at the Tsukuba circuit and the Suzuka circuit, both in Japan. Let's do it. For this menu, you'll be entering a championship. High-speed ring track day is now available in world circuits. Go ahead and sign up. You'll have to do more than just complete the race, though. I want to see you finish top three. Show me what you can do, and I'll get some exciting new menus ready. Sick. Good luck. I'll be rooting for you. These menus are fun to obtain, you know? Look at this babbling brook. Honda Type R again. Probably about a 2000. That's an EG, right? EG Type R, I think. Forgive me, my Honda knowledge isn't super up. Championship High Speed Ring Track Day. That's a beautiful track, my goodness. Let us go. Tuning shop is now open, so I can go ahead and tweak 
some designs. What, what's what's new at the garage? Oh wait, no, at the garage I have my uh, my reward, my gift. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin to win. Come on, I want a new car. I'm all about new cars. What's on the table? Oh, that's a Peugeot. What is that? 40. I forget. It's gonna be nitrous. Oh, it's gonna. Oh, come on. It's a medium amount of credits. That's probably 5k, I would assume. 5,000. Yeah. I want cars, man. Cars are more fun to have, in my opinion. Cool. All right. Well, car collection. There's three new ones. Obviously, it's all the class. They should like sort it by new. You shouldn't have to go through here. There they are. The mini, the V dub. See, they. Ha it's interesting because they have the mini. That's kind of not right. Because yes, now mini, the name mini is the mini brand is owned by Germany or not by Germany is owned by bmw i'm sorry <laughs> owned by the country of germany no so they're technically german but this wouldn't have been german at the time this would have been uk this would have been british so i'm surprised it's there that is kind of odd they included that there where's uk cars i can't believe it's not in here because maybe it's a le legal thing you know they had to like say it's german owned because the name is i don't know that's kind of not realistic but whatever i'm sure it's minor enough let's go to the tuning shop let's just see Welcome, you must be Danky8000 that I've been hearing so much about. I'm Rupert, the owner of this tuning shop. My shop offers a variety of tuning parts to improve the performance of cars. The parts in this shop are divided into five categories, from sports to extreme. Take a look through the tab above. If you've just begun your adventure, then you'll be sharing with sports parts. I also, I also offer drivers with a high collector's level, more sophisticated tuning parts than master level. So, if I, the thing is, I don't really want to tune anything yet until I go off a build that I really want. You know what I mean? For now, I'm going to leave it. You know. All right, so we have another world circuit to go for. So we're gonna go to Japan and do those two. Finish up the next menu. Do our thing. Consists of two or more races. The final standings will be determined by the total number of points earned for your performances in each race. You cannot change your car in the middle of a championship, so make sure you choose carefully before entering. Finish high enough in the championship standings, and you might even win a new car. Sick. Well, it's in it's in Asia Oceania for the J Japanese circuit, the Broad Bean Raceway. There's something else. That's the one that was already there. That was a Sunday Cup. We can get credits for it, but I'll skip it for now. All right, so they wanted... What did they want? Was it the Clubman Cup? Oh, there's the 92 M3 right there. Sick. Uh, I don't know if they said. This is a GT4 Cup. I might have to do the Clubman Cup, I'm thinking. Anyway. All right, tire choice. They recommend sports. Hmm. What's what's my average rival gonna be? Hmm. It's a mixed bag. You got an R33 in there. You got a Type R. The oh, it's EK. Sorry, I said EG. EK. Um, MR2. Tight MR2. Uh, we got the um, uh, MX5. Unos. Hmm. I don't know if mine would be. That's the thing. I don't know what it. Let's go to this one. What are the, what's the, what would be the rivals in this one? Definitely not nothing we have. So that's going to be a no. I think they want us to do this one. Based on that, regulations, I have to have. So they want me to buy a sports tire. Fair enough. 550 or less. So I'm going to go buy a new new tire. Then I have to go back then. They won't let me in, enter that without a sports tire requirement. So it is what it is. All right. Tuning. So I wasn't planning on it, but it's a small amount of money. Let's see. All right. So sports tires. The softer the tire. I think we might go medium. I mean, yeah. We'll go with a medium. It's a good hybrid. Okay. There you go. A taste of tuning trophy. Let's go pop it on. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all very much for joining me on some debut gameplay of Gran Turismo 7. Oh, here's your showcase. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series so far. Make sure you leave a like on the stream if you have been enjoying it. And make sure you subscribe uh, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything I put out. I'll be playing a good chunk of Gran Turismo for a while here. I've been really enjoying it. So make sure you do that stuff. Come on back. Catch another stream. All right. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and change our settings. We want. Oh, it's already got sports. 
Oh, no, no, it probably was on... Was it on? It might have already had them. But no, I just bought these, so it must have switched them for it. So it has medium wear. So the yellow... Yeah, okay, I understand now. So if I went to this... I see. So it gives you the regulations. You need sports tires with certain wear types. So sometimes they might... Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I was actually selecting the wrong one. This one does not have a regulation. Oh, they recommend a 400. Okay. Well, I'm a 482. I see what they did. So the one I was looking at was the wrong one. I see. Okay. Because it wasn't a championship. It was just a standard race. Hey, Dark. Hey, Chris. This shouldn't be too bad. So I didn't have to buy those, but... Those tires, but it is what it is. It's fine. What's Fraga got to say? Hola, konnichiwa. Thank you, 8000. My name is Igor Fraga. I was born in Japan and lived there to the age of 12. In 18, I won the Gran Turismo World Tour. Because I'm a big fan of compact Japanese sports cars, I plan to compete in the Civic. The trick to doing well in a high-speed ring is to use the banking of the corners to increase your cornering speed. I bet you anything, I bet they're going to give me that EK Civic Type R. I can almost promise you they're going to give me that. The trick to doing well in the high-speed ring is to use the banking to the of the corners to increase your cornering speed. Good luck. See you around. All right, let's give it. Let's start. Hey, Josh, going good. How are you? It's been everybody out on this one. The 90s are back with a vengeance. Why is the Demio here? Why would it even bother trying? All right, this is our boy right up here. And he's gone. I do eventually want to get a wheel and pedal set up, but, right, like, I mean, I, I did look to some wheels. I, I would want one that works on, like, P PlayStation, woo, hello, PlayStation and uh, PC, and there is one that I found. It's actually made for, it's, like, the Grand, I think it's the, what is it, the Thrustmaster T300 RS, I think it's a good overall model, uh, but it's, like, I think it, on the website it said it was, like, 380 pounds, which... I don't remember how that equates to Canadian, but it's not super cheap. It'd be an investment for racing games in the future, you know? I could have been closer to the wall. I love how the, the Speedo doesn't show any higher. We're going like 220k, but it, does, it only reads up to 180. Wide. Oh, I took that poorly. We need to be hard on the brakes. Beautiful. a little wide, but it, it was okay. could have been cleaner, but not bad. Pop-up headlamps coming up. Uh, that's a rough line. in my sights at all. There you go. Easy bread, easy bread. 
So because I got all those golds, it really is giving me a leg up in this. If I didn't, I'd have to use with whatever I had at the time. I wonder if it changes your outfit to your country, wherever country you race from, your country's colors. Because you say, oh, mine's white and red, you know, can Canadian colors. I wonder if it changes that depending on where you're from. I think that's pretty cool. Because I didn't, I didn't input, like I said, I did not say I was from Canada in-game. It just probably reads where you're, where you're, uh, you know, your PlayStation's registered in or whatever. All right, championship race number two. What's the difference? Is it like maybe reverse? It might be reversed. It wouldn't be the same way. It's probably the other direction. Unless it's the exact same. All right, what's up with him? Hey, we met at the license center, didn't we? I'm Daniel Solis, the instructor for National B. My blue Demio is the one that you drove in the B1 license test. I was happy to lend it to you. It looks like it like rain today. Your car won't turn as well as it usually does. So it's, it's wet track. Drive carefully out there. I want my Demio back in one piece. Well, I'm not rolling in it, so can relax all right yeah and we are going the other direction as well so I was right about that so we're gonna have to break sooner a little squiggly Oh, we're drifting a little bit. Gotta watch my tire wear as well. Overtake him on the outside. little slicey it's wanting to understeer a lot more in the rain I really want full brakes on a wet track. Uh, I'm over. I'm, oh, God. Understeering a little bit there. I love how he turns his wipers off for a second. Oh, it's understeering bad. Oh, my God. Oh, man, I hit a wall. That's my first hit in a long time. Ooh, it's not raining anymore. At least it looks like it slowed down. That's pretty cool. I wouldn't say so, family. I'm using one right now. I mean, those controllers are mad expensive. I feel like I want to get one eventually, but like I like I said, I want to find one that will work on. Like I buy one controller and I can use it for PC racing and like PlayStation racing. I don't want to have to buy two wheels. You know what I mean? All right, the home stretch. They're not even close to me. This car is just so much higher rated. It gave me a massive leg up into this one, which is awesome. Good 
stuff. That's our first championship. Probably gonna get that EK hatch right there. I'm assuming that's 24. So I, I could have gotten second. It would have been tied. We'd be at 22 a pop, I think. Cause he, I could, uh, yeah, because Fraga has 20. So I had to beat Fraga, but if I didn't, we would have been tied. There, we're cracked 100,000 creds. Hey, Lewis. Hey, Travis. Number one overall. Let's go. And they gave me a 15k credit bonus. And, oh, they gave me a Suzuki Swift, Integra Type R, Civic Type R. Look at that. Three cars for that. I'm actually... Oh, it's one of the three, hey? Integra. I would have rather have had... Actually, it's the most... The highest PP. To be honest, though, I think I would have rather had the Civic Type R. If I'm honest. But... Integra's okay, too. There you go. We're level four for the co collector. Now I can go back and actually um, go back to the menu. And tell him what's up, you know? Yeah, they're they're like there's they're they're trying to make you like the feedback you get from them are like dramatic as hell. Oh wait, sorry, I gotta go back to the cafe and I'm gonna bank it. Bank my money. Alright, congratulations on your victory at high speed ring track day. Brand Central is now open for business. Brand Central offers 21st century production cars and race machines for purchase. Make sure to stop by. So it's more modern cars. Sukuba circuit has been unlocked. Suzuka circuit as well, individually. They're on their own. And then Brand Central Pavilion. Alright, well, we got Japanese FF sports cars. Alright, well, what do they want out of that one? So, I think it goes... It, when you switch out these menu books, it goes car collection, races. Car collection. So, now it's going to be another car collection. I've already got the Integra. I need to get the Civic, the Swift as well. So, both of them are up on the agenda. So, I've already got the one. I wonder if I should use the Integra. In FF cars, the engine is mounted at the front of the vehicle and provides power to the front wheels. So, front wheel drive, absolutely brutal. Japan has produced many sporty FF cars. Collect three of them and come back when you're done. So, the whole game is just about a massive collection. Racing and, and collections. So, I need all three anyway. I was like, oh, I'd rather have this. Well, I have to go for all three. So, there you go. But just to give it a little bit of, you know, make it a little more even, you know, I'll probably try and use the Integra. Uh, let's go over here and see what they have for, I, I don't think I have enough credits to purchase a new car yet. I think I can buy decent used cars, some decent used cars. This is Brand Central. Brand Central offers new cars from around the world produced in 2001 or later. There are more than 500, or sorry, 550 brands on sale from US, Europe, and Asia. Some brands also have their own museum where you can learn all about their history. That's sick. Have a look around. Martin, nice to meet you. I'm Martin, your car advisor. If you wish to know more about a car, I'll be more than happy to lend help. Happy to help. All right, the partners are Michelin, BBS, and Brembo. Very solid brands. Wheels, tires, and brakes. All right, well, let's just take a little trip to the U.S. first. Wait. Greddy, what, what is... Greddy's got their own build, I guess. That's sick, man. That's funny. DMC, I gotta see the 12. It's, it's probably... Do you think it's stock? A DeLorean S2. Wait. I was going to say max power. I'm like, yeah, this thing did not have that much power. It was like 200 horse from, a, I think, a V6. That's funny. It was so slow. It's badass, but it, it looks so sick. But it's so it was really slow. It was a really underpowered engine. I guess it was the 80s, but... So you can actually buy... So if you go to the showroom, you can actually buy these. Let's look at prices. Sorry, I'm trying to find the price. Oh, actually, these aren't that... Oh, that's an ST. RS 41k, uh, the 50 Mustang, Raptors 55k. I can buy. I can actually afford a GT350, and then the GR3. This is the road version. 300,000. 
the GR4. I might save up. Like, these are starting to get pricey. Group B at rally car. <laughs> that's sick. Well, that's funny. Ford GT. This thing was so sick when they brought it back. It's a video game, so it can't break down. Well, it can, but, you know. Ford GT again. Yeah, these are getting expensive, obviously. But Chevy, Silverdo, Dirty Max. I'm not going to say anything that much about Chevy. They, I'm surprised they don't have a C8. How come they don't have a C8 Corvette in here? That's kind of odd. Look at the wheel gap, though, bro. Look at the wheel gap. Guys, you could fit, like, an entire family of four under those wheel arches. That's better. <laughs> I mean, that's the road car, though. That's the road version. <laughs> Even now, like, the ZR1's a little lower, but, you know, that's too much wheel gap. That was insane. This is cool, though, man. I gotta say. Europe. Hold on. I'm going... Let's see. I want to see how much my M3 is first. I'm going straight here. Oh, 07. That's the wrong year, but this is mine. I have an 08. I can afford it. I have enough. I mean, I feel like I kind of have to. 4 liter S65 V8. 415 horse. I mean, obviously, if you de if you like tune it, you can get it up to 420 right off the snuff. M4. I, one thing I gotta ask is, do you think they have the G80X? We'll find out. Let's see if they have the G80X. They do not. Good, because I don't want to make you guys vomit. So, these are brand new. This shit's bad. I'll be probably spending a good chunk of time with the BMs. The Z8 was actually a shitty car. It wasn't very good. Cool that you can buy the safety car. That's cool. E46. and then, Oh, I was going to say, where are the rest of them? But I guess, like, I noticed there's no actual, like, like where's the F80? It, there's only F82. So the F82 M4. It's all two doors. They don't have the sedans, bro. Just the coupes. All right. Well, I kind of have to buy the M3. This is, like, and then I will modify it. Wait, do they actually have my color? Space gray. That's not my color. It's sparkling graphite. That is my color. Why does it... Wait a minute. What? That looks black. Okay, in the light, it looks... They actually have the legit color code. But what's funny is, look at that. It looks green. Mine is in sparkling graphite. It was the only color... It was only available in 2008 cars. It looks green in... Like, look at look at where the mouth... Like, that looks green. But it's actually dark gray. It actually... Space gray is lighter than this. That looks like sparkling graphite. Alpine White, and then Silverstone, Unilagos, Jerez. That's interesting. Well, I'm going to, they have, they actually have it as sparkling graphite. So I'm going to cop that. That's not the color, by the way. It doesn't look like that. That looks like, what is, where is it? Right here. That is not green. I promise you it's not. Uh, wait, dynamic scenes. <laughs> That's so badass. That's really bizarre, though. But in-game, it looks more accurate, more true form. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and purchase it. There you go. That's not even a hesitation. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Now, I hope I can modify it. Do you want to get in the... Yes, I do. Now, the thing I'm going to be look at listening for... I mean, I know how accurate they make it. They make it in, in, in these games. Everything sounds exactly as it should. Fuck, that thing looks so sick too, doesn't it? Oh, my God. Let's see. Now, in terms of Audis, I would, my, would not mind, if they have it, an RS6. They do not have an RS6, which is an Audi I would absolutely adore to have. And I'm surprised that they don't have... Wow, okay. Actually, it's kind of less than I thought. What about Porsche? 911 GT3 RS? I'd be on board for that. Every 911 you could think of, there's an RS right there. Well, I wonder what kind of... Wait, what kind of colors do they have? Damn, that's sick. Ultraviolet is money. Hold on. I obviously don't have the money for it. I can just, like, spend my time looking at these cars. 
the career GT, the car that killed Paul Walker. They just said the CTR three. Okay. Alpha. Wait, what? What kind of alphas do they have? Just out of curiosity. The Mito, the four C, and then the eight C Competizione. I love the eight C. That's that's pretty. The four C is is clean too, though. Like I don't like how high the wheel. I know it's a road car, so it's got you know you need that clearance, but bruh. We. Sh I mean, oh look at that number eight. Perfect. That's already set up for us. It's already set up for us. Pagani. We got a few things. Huayra Zonda. So that's all you got. <laughs> they had the Zonda R though, which was a track car specifically, and then the Huayra itself. Brembo. This is interesting. Why does Brembo have a car? Oh, they just have information about it. Okay, cool. That's interesting. What do they have for a Barth? So the just the 500 to Barth. They have other. Oh, they'd be in the classics. Sorry, I forgot about the classics. They'd be there. All the French, Alpine, Michelin. It's probably just an info session about tires. The Renault, Peugeot, Citroën. Citroën makes big, comfortable cars. So I'm curious what they've got. Just strictly race cars. We could be in here all day. They actually have the... It's probably the crossbow. Austria. It is the crossbow. Okay. Well, anyway, I would love to just... Wait, what is... Oh, what does Asia have? Oh, this is all the JDM mainly. JDM. I want to see if they have my, my STI as well. I want to see if they have... Oh, it wouldn't be. This is new. This is new. Sorry. I got to go to the classics. That would have been badass. I don't really like Korean cars that much, so I probably wouldn't be buying one of these. Uh, I'm curious to see what Hyundai's got. I guess they got the Genesis. Now the Genesis is its own brand, so... Right right there. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, there it is. They are getting better looking. I will give them that for sure. Anyway. Let's see, they're going to have a GTR for sure. But it will, it'll be modern GTRs, probably. Fairly modern. Well, that's not that modern. It's 02. I thought it was... Oh, they said 20, 21st century, so 01 and above. So you will have some of the... There's an R34. You won't have an R33 and below, though. Pretty badass, man. I, I'm just... I'm excited. I could just literally look at these all day. Just like... You know, but we, ha we have to move on. We have to move on. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I want to... Hold on. Let's go to our... Garage? Maybe? Um... Okay. Can I... I don't really want to change... Can I change visual things? Like... I mean, I guess I'd have to go to parts. The PP of that is 533. I, I just can't wait to hear that S65, bro. It's going to be so sick. I haven't tried yet, UJ, so I'm not sure, but... Collector's level. That's great. Now, I'll sell you semi-racing parts. Robot tuning and settings. Beyond the apex on the bottom. Okay. Weight reduction. How much are these going to be? We have How much money do we have? We have just under 30,000 creds to play with. Ooh, that's kind of a thing. It's not... See, I can't get this because the car is naturally aspirated, so I can't throw a turbo on it. I wonder if you can do that, though. You know, like, you know, an, an NA car with forced induction. I know you can do it in other racing games, but in these... Weight, weight reduction is what this car needs. The car is a bit of a boat. 7,000K. What's it going to bring it down to? Well, hold on. Let me see. What's the current... How do I know what it brings it down to? You can get rid of unnecessary electronics, all the wiring. That shit will be like... You can ditch like... Oh, you have to do stages. We can't restore the car. I see. So you actually have to start with weight reduction stage one. You can't just do it. So it goes from 36... Look how much weight you actually drop. That's 400 pounds of weight. Honestly, that is... Weight reduction is money. I think good suspension is good. New brakes. brakes, Braking and suspension weight reduction before power. That's what you should do. Handling before power. People think power first. No, you do not. Limited slip diff. Sports suspension. I don't know if it'll let me. It does. I can actually lower it. I can lower the car. Let's see. I think I might go suspension. It can, well, height adjustable sports suspension. 5,200 credits. 
I, I mean, I can't get the race. I can only get semi-racing. So I kind of want to do that. Let's draw. What's that going to bring it? Is that going to bring it to anything specific? Yeah, 547 it's going to go to from 533. Yes. So YOLO, let's get that suspension going. Um, I can't do that yet. I can increase rigidity so it doesn't roll as much in the corners. How about brakes? There's no brakes here. Racing muffler. Reduce backflow. More torque. So it goes from 295 to 298. Very low torque engine. Trust me that you have... It's all up in the high end because it goes all the way up to 8,500 RPM. So you want... That's the one thing this engine is kind of lacking is the is torque. So if you can increase your torque, that's good. Um, What else can we do? I think I might want to do weight reduction. Start with low. We'll just get that weight down. That'll make such a huge difference. It's, it's going to be interesting about this is that I'll start with that. I don't want to go too hard. I don't want to change the car too dramatically right off the bat. But I would like to adjust my suspension. Uh, tires are already sports hard, so we'll leave that for now. It's already got them from, you know. What about the brakes? Is there any better brakes in semi-racing? I might get better brakes. Sport brake kit. That'll help. Wait, well, that's just rotors. Is it calipers as well? I'm just going to assume. So let's go with better rotors. It's a small it's a small price to pay. So the car is at a 563 now. Cams. Increase the bore. I don't know. If, see, that's pretty expensive. What will this do? Just Oh, it's just tuning, really. Just tuning. So we can increase to 435. That's brake, though. That's at the crank. So cracking 300 horse. New clutch and flywheel. That could be money. Faster shifts. Now, my question is, is this going to be an, a manual or a DCT? Tell you what. Let's leave it at that. We'll, we'll get some money up. I don't want to spend too much money right off the snuff. Let's earn a bit more money. Let's go back to the world circuits. I got to put this bad boy to the test. I'm excited. All right. What's our next goal? They actually wanted me to get... Uh, sorry. They wanted me to get the, the car. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to absolutely annihilate these guys. <laughs> These small Japanese hatchbacks and... Oh, no, they are restricting me, bro. They are restricting me. Okay, this one does have restrictions. All right, so I'll have to have a Japanese front-wheel drive. So I'm going to go with the Integra then. That's fine. I'll still rep it. I'll still wipe the floor with these. Well, it might actually be kind of close. It might actually be kind of close. To get the uh, Type R. The EK Type R. I'm excited. All right, we'll go back to the M3. I will drive the M3 before the end of the day. Here we go. Now, I'm worried about the understeer, but I'm not super worried. Little bit of understeer there, uh, but it's not too bad. That wasn't actually that bad. I gotta overtake. Oh, uh, outside. I got dude, I can't lose to a Prius. Get out of my way. I can't believe there's a Prius on a track, bro. Like that is just That that's honestly like a nun. A, like a real nun doing a porno. It doesn't it's not something that should be done. Yeah, currently I'm using the PS5 controller. Done by Jinx, by the way. Get the Danky 8000 Mark 1. It's also available on PS5. I do plan on getting a wheel and pedals. Just I, I just want to make sure I find a kit that I can use with PC and PlayStation. So I don't want to have to buy two wheels. This shit gets pricey, so... It'd be more fun with the wheel and pedals, I think. All right, these are our top two boys. All right, there's another Integra. Excuse me. Oh, a little bit of contact. Oh, I'm suffering for it with that. He's right up my chuff right now. Oh, man, I'm going over. Oh, shoot. I gotta keep it composed.
All right, full power through. I'm leaving that. A little wide. Keep it controlled. Is anybody watching that clock in the dash? Is it actually... Ch it is changing time! Whoa! Dude, that's so cool! I know that's so minor, but... The clock is going... Oh, wait. Is that our lap time? What is that? It's. It looks like a clock, but it looks like it's going up way too fast. I mean, that's kind of neat, but... The clock actually works in the game. That's insane. That's some detail. I know it's going up fast as hell, but I don't care. That's cool. That's dope. Ladies and gentlemen, you're enjoying the series. Make sure you leave a like on the stream. A little like goes a long way. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me for some debut Gran Turismo 7. Having a really good time with this. Get that money back. We spent it all on an M3, so. Which we can't use yet. Anyway, we got the Civic. Which is slightly less powerful than the Integra, but the Integra weighs a bit more. So, it depends what you're after. Are there any Civic fans in the house? Any Civic fans in the house? Let me know. Of course I do, bus. You know it. What's up, Rodrigo? Okay, so that one's done. Now we just got to get one more whip, and it's over in the Su Sukuba circuit. And so we have to do this one. This one, where it's, it's considered a spicy meatball. All right, well, let's see. Uh, let's compare the Integra. It's, I mean, it's more power, but again, it actually, they weigh very similar. I'm actually kind of surprised. The Integra is basically the same weight. It's slightly heavier, but not by much. It's like a, like a, you know, the weight difference is like having, let's see, 2315. It's like having a small child in the back seat. That's the weight difference between these two. So I'm going to keep the Integra then. Keep that Integra. I do love bikes, yes. Fraga, what does he have to say? Growing up in Japan, I watched lots of car DVDs. Especially like watching time trials on the soup. Tsukuba circuit. I'm Brazilian, but I lived in Japan until the sixth grade, so I am Japanese child at heart. If you're having trouble winning a race, try entering with a different car. There's bound to be a car that suits your style. Alright, this is for the Suzuki Swift. Now that's a fast car. Alright, let's get that Swift. Doling out some Swift vengeance. Overtaking that. I mean, I kind of ruined my line there just to try and overtake him. But it was a Prius, so it had to be done. It had to be done, guys. All right, we practiced on this circuit already. So I should have this corner down. Oh, he's shutting the door on me. Got to take him on the outside. Excuse me, Mr. S oh, God, the Swift is keeping me out. Gotta take it. Taking the Swift, the Mazda, the Demio, squeezing out. Oh, I didn't break. I'm so focused on overtaking. I'm going wide. Yikes. Hard, full lock. All right, back on the power. Let's go. We got a bit of space here. We gotta catch up. We're halfway down the pack. Oh, I'm understeering, understeering, understeering. Back on it, back on it. That was it. I didn't break enough. All right, we're going to pass the EK. And the Fit. I don't know how the Fit is in second place. And there's another Integra up leading the pack. I will, I will have him. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. That was nice. That was a good corner. Back on the power. All right, we're going to have it, the Integra, in a second. We're gonna have, I'm going to take him on the inside. Shut the door on him. Shut the door on him. Put him in a position to make a decision. Oh, I've gone wide. Oh, gosh. Oh, God, he took me. No. That was my mistake. Push, 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 push. bit of contact. It's just racing. Back on power. Managed to take him for that final lap right at the end. There you go. What up, Chase? Chaz, excuse me. How you doing? That was much closer. See, when you race in the category you're supposed to race in, it makes it a lot more entertaining. We've already driven 92.9, so 93K. I mean, it's a workout on the body, and look at that beauty. Look at that Suzuki Swift. It's the same company who makes my hair bicycle. Good shit, man, that was money. Oh. Gotta love it. Favorite, well, favorite car, I mean, I have to say mine, E92 M3. E90 XM3. Favorite bike? I really, really want a uh, S1000 RR or a Ducati 959. Those are like my top two at the moment that I want. But other things are taking priority <laughs> than a, like a sixteen to twenty thousand dollar bike. Anyway, let's go back to the cafe and finish up this order. That's a cool photo. It's funny because the Swift is like newer and then the other two are like similar year. 98, I think they both were. Congratulations, you've got all three cars. This completes your Japanese FF Sports Cars collection. I wonder if there's like just a big mural on his wall. Once you collect your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you. I have to go, I have to go hand in these roulette tickets. All right, well, what's Chris saying? About this car here. Hmm, I see. Chris, I see you've been working hard today. This is Chris. He loves to evaluate, assess, and appraise. Good to see you both. Yes, it's true. When I see a nice car, I just can't help but check it out. People around here call me the automobile inspector. Now let's see what we have here. Simply put, the Honda Integra Type R is one of the meanest compact cars in the world. It is a true race car for the road. At its release, this first-gen Integra Type R came with a price tag that was affordable for young enthusiasts. It served as a tool for young drivers that, that to hone their skills as only a Type R could. The Integra Type R's naturally aspirated engine was a pumped up version used in the base model, producing 19.7 horsepower more output. The car also featured a strengthened chassis and boasted more than 88 pounds in weight reduction. It serves as a true showcase of the 90s Japanese automotive engineering. I mean, you were there. You were like 50 years old when this car came out. <laughs> Maybe older. Anyway, now that we've talked to the dinosaur. Let's hang up the collection and let's get our next one. What we ca what we call FF cars have the engine in front setting power to the front wheels. Because the front tires need to steer the car and provide drive, cornering efficiently requires a bit of accelerator work. On the plus side, FF cars make much better use of space than rear wheel drive cars and require fewer components, naturally. FF layouts are used in all types of cars, mostly compacts, and tend to be safer for novices because they understeer. A few sports cars have adopted an FF layout, particularly those from Japan. Honda has produced lots of FF sports models from naturally aspirated engines, starting with the Civic RS in 72. These models include the DC2 Integra Type R from the 90s, and the EK9 Civic Type R, which remains very popular to this day. The Suzuki Swift Sport is another example of, Japanese, of a Japanese FF car. One uses a base car for internationally rally, international rally races. All right, tuna classic car. Okay, well, let's look at that. That's an interesting one. What do you want me to do? Uh, tuna 65 mini. Oh, two, 360 PP or more. We have to do that for another race anyway, so. We have 40,000 creds. That should be enough to tune it. All right, let's go. I hear the tuning shop is now open. Your goal is to create a car that can be entered in Europe's Sunday Cup. Right, that requires like 330, I think. 360. Of at least 360. Sports tires are sure to have a big impact, but you can do whatever it takes. 
And don't forget, you can only tune the car you're currently driving, which means you need to get the Mini Cooper out of your garage and head over to tuning shop. If you're not sure about what any of the parts do, just ask Rupert, the shop owner, and he'll help you out. All right, so now we got to go tune that 65 Mini, and we got to tune it to a 3... What was it? Sorry, 360? So I can enter that one tuned classics. But I also have a couple of uh, random pulls that I got to do. So a couple... Or I only... I thought I had two. Fine. All right, guys, let's get a car. I'm all about new cars. All right, another Type R. Type R. Type... I'll take it. That's fine. Give me the Type R. I'm not. Ooh. The lowest amount of money. I think that's only about 2,500 creds. 2,000 creds. Boo. I mean, hey, money's money. I'll take it. Whatever. All right, let's go to our car collection. There's the M3. Woo! Let's go. I'm excited for that. Wait, does it say? Yes. Okay. Uh, is that all for new? I'm going to have to get into... There's that. Boom. The Suzuki Swift. Hi, Elias. I wonder what these are. That looks like a little cart. That's dope. Okay, well, let's change. I loved showcase mode, though. I would honestly, like... Oh, I would I would just search, look at the cars all day. But this is modern, and they, it looks so much better. You know what I mean? Remember back in the day, they weren't as good. Anywho. No, I wasn't trying to go for the Mini. I was just looking, getting rid of the list. The Mini, you get to switch cars, you have to go here. It's British Racing Green, too, which is sick. Doing up a mini is awesome. I think like a like a fast mini, like done like a classic mini. All right. Well, anyway, we got to get this bad boy to 360. It's that's basically a hundred more PP, a little over a hundred more. Okay. So it's it weighs next to nothing. So I think a weight reduction is probably a smart thing right off the well. It's not much for the price. It's not much weight lost. So let's try and get our adjustable suspension. That's $4,500, though, for a mini. What does it go from 53? We can drop it two inches. That'll give us good. What will that bring it to, though? <clears throat> That'll bring it to a 256. So it's a pretty expensive... A limited slip diff. Uh, in a front drive, though? Yeah, that's not what you want. To a super... Dude, I, I said no power, but... Little supercharger there? Supercharger or turbo? I, I mean, I prefer turbos. You can get 100 horse, 109 compared to, what, 86? But you're going to get more... What's the torque? 72 out of that. 80, eh. 294, 288. There's less lag. I honestly... I'm going to put a turbo on this thing. I know that's, like, crazy, but... Fight me. <laughs> oh, my God. that this little This classic mini has a turbo now. A big boy turbo. I spent a lot of money on this. It'll bring me a tuna. It's not much. I, I, I want to do something that's really going to make a difference. A low RPM. was eh, It wasn't as powerful, but... Race crank. I should probably go to the sports section. Look at the tires alone. Look at the tires alone bring it up to. 366. 382. So just like that, we've made the list by buying a, 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 a turbo kit and a, a new set of tires. So I just threw, <laughs> I just spent all that money on a turbo for an old mini. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice work. You did exactly what was required. Tuning's pretty tricky, isn't it? But it's worth the time and effort because there are a lot of parts that can improve your car's performance. There are also things like power restrictors and ballast designed to actually lower your car's PP. So have fun exploring the wild world of tuning. All right, Alsace in France. And Sard Sardinia. All right, we also unlocked European hot hatches. Let's take a look at that menu book. What do you got? All right, they want me to get the modern. So it's modern European. So the Mini, a Barth, and the Polo. So really, it's the same thing. It's basically like the successors to the classic ones we've already collected. This time around, I want you to collect European hot hatches. Hatchbacks compact with the rear door. The hot means they pack extra performance. 
There are a bevy of cool hot hatches that have been produced in Europe over the years. If you're going to be racing a mini tune to 360pp or more, then you should try out the Race of Brands hatch. Your job is to collect three of them. Once you do, come back to see me. Okay. Let's go. We're going to cop that. I wonder if I should talk to the, the other folks that are here. Let me go back to the cafe. And let's see. Chris is going to talk about it. When it comes to speedy little road rockets, the first thing that comes to mind is the Mini. Although the original Mini was built as a compact car for the masses, it possessed a high level of performance. The first to notice the Mini's potential was the car was the car constructor Cooper of Formula 1 fame. That was the company that created the sporty Mini Cooper S. The car shined in races and rallies of the day, leaving behind a, na a lit lasting legacy. This model, with an improved engine displacement of 970cc, is especially prized within the series. How about Stella? Are you a car history buff? Yes. Great, then you'll want to hear this. When the Mini was born in 59, it revolutionized the world of compact front-wheel drive cars. Designed by an, the English engineer Alec Isigonis, it, was, it sported a uniquely positioned engine and gearbox. This maximized the space-saving potential of its front-wheel drive layout. The result was a small and fast car with a roomy interior. The Mini's historic front-wheel drive layout is now widely referred to as an in Isigonis layout. And why shouldn't it be? It was designed by the brilliant engineer, after all. Cool. All right, well, let's go do the race. That's a good point. I'm gonna. I'm actually going to go back to the tuning. What do they have? There you go. Maybe I should get a new transmission. High speed rate, mid to high speed race track, enhanced tops. Well, I don't think it really adjusts it. I don't think it'll, it, if that might, I don't think that will actually affect it in this game. We'll find out. We'll find out. So I think all that's doing is kind of like, you know, it, depending on what kind of track you're on. Higher revving, lower revving, you know, more corners, whatever. You need certain... The engine's living at certain parts of the, the rev band, right? So it's... I think that's all that's doing. But we're going to get the Abarth for this one. I've actually driven one of these in Abarth 500. They're pretty fast, man. And it's so... It's such a small car. And it's like shouting at you. And it's, it's crazy. Hold on a second. Actually, hold on one second. What was the... Alright, that's for the GTI. Which was the one that had... Wait, wait, no, it wouldn't be a brand's hatch, would it? I mean, there's this. It's got to be done, but this is the one I was thinking. The 360. I just tuned the mini for that. Oh, they want 350 or less? Oh, you suck. It just said tune it to 360. Wow, bro. You lying sack of ass. So it won't even let me use a turbo. Whatever. So now I have to go back and detune it now? Why do you tell me to tune it to 360 then? That's some bull. All right. Well, I guess I got a D. Well, maybe I can install a ballast then. Just to bring it down. Well, no, maybe not. I guess. Just throw some dirt tires on it. I mean, I feel stupid, though, if I bought this and I can't even use it. Hmm. 350. What would I... Can I maybe go with a, a comfort? That'll bring me down, but... Maybe, yeah, maybe I should just buy the best comfort tire and that'll be right under the 350 limit. Seems like a waste of money, but that'll bring us down to what we need it to be. Wait, let me just see what the, the hard sports tire brought it to. Just real quick. 351. So no, that's too high. It's just, which is a shame. So we're going to have to go with that. This is probably going to be kind of sketchy, but we'll try. We will try it and see what happens. Okay, so it was at Goodwood, right? Yeah. 
So this is considered difficult. Oh, f dude, it wants me to use sports tires, so I can't even do it because that is a bitch. Honestly, that is such a pain in the ass. I have to have sports tires, but... Oh, wait a minute. Did I just do it? Oh, both of them have to be front. Now I don't meet the 350 or less. Is there anything I could... De Is there a way of detuning it? Like suspension. I didn't buy this, so... It only goes up from here. Let's try changing it. See, if I take off, there's no turbo. But now it's just a 322. You see my conundrum? I can race with it now, but it's not going to be that fast. You get a lot of money out of it, though. But I don't know if I'm going to make this. Now, let me see. Is it have to be? It's got to be a mini. Okay. Well, let's try. Let's try, okay? I, I wish we could get it a little... I guess we could spend a bit more money tuning that car up. But we'll see. We'll see if we can't fight with it. Because I don't know what these guys are sitting at for PP. We'll find out in a moment. They seem to be losing me, though. He's rubbing. Yeah, they're losing me. This is... Yeah, tune the car to 360. And then they're like, yeah, you can't compete. I'm being dropped. So realistically, if you can get your tuning to like 349.9, that's like the best. Whoa! Did he fishtail me or did I? I think he. I think he just pit maneuvered me, guys. Imagine that turbo. I'd be gone. Yeah, I know they're losing me on the straights. Handles pretty good, though, honestly. Oh! Yeah, I tell you what, I'm gonna bail. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna have to tune it a bit. It's just, it's just fighting for its life, so it's just not gonna fly. I'm not making up enough places. Let me just see. That's annoying that they, that I wasted 17,000 on a turbo, and I just can't even use it. You know, that was very misleading, I have to say. Okay, let's see. What I mean, I guess I could. What does that bring us? Three thirty, but it's not worth the money. I, if the like weight reduction might bring me up. Three thirty. It's just it's you're gonna end up spending a ton of money. Three twenty five. How about the brake pads? Relatively inexpensive. Maybe club sports. That only brings it up a small amount too, though. Three twenty six. I mean, I guess, see, the thing is, the amount of gains we're getting, it's improving it, but for the amount of money they are just to do this. That's annoying as hell. Wait, what does the power restrictor do? I'll tell you what, let's try this then. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, Let's buy the power restrictor. Okay, and let's um, let's tune it a little bit. So let's go. Okay, tuning parts. 
Getting parts. Special parts you received as gifts are kept here, organized separately for each car. Oh, I see. Car settings. Okay, so let's throw... Okay, it's got normal. Uh, beep, 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 beep. So we'll throw the turbo back on. Okay, now it's a 320... Oh, wait. Yeah, 366. Alright, so let's go... Where would it be? Um, uh, probably performance adjustment, power restrictor. Let's try that. 359, we're close. 356, put it about here. 353, we're almost there. 349, let's try and do 83. 350, it's one too much, so we'll go with the, that on that one. So we can still use it, but we're restricted to 82 horses, but that'll give us the, the, the sweet spot. Alright, let's give that another go. Now that we've got this tuned up, we should be better off. 89 break. That way we can still put the turbo to good use. Alright, where was it again? It's always a good one, yeah. Okay. Excellent, let's roll. Let's try and get that first place. Bit more boost. 20 horsepower is 20 horsepower. Listen to that flutter, boy. That's so nice. Same guy tried to take me out. Wow, this thing wants to get sideways. That's what happens when you add more power and do nothing else to the car. Homeboy is really up ahead, though. He's got some serious gains. I am closing the gap on him, though. He actually braked mad late. That's okay. Oh, look at that. I took that corner way better than him. I let him have it. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm gonna... I might lose places. I got no power. Come on. Oh, Jesus. I should have just shut the door on him, man. Let's go. There was no boost. I lost all my boost. Man, I had good placement. Now I just totally botched it. Here. Oh, a little drift. Look at that. But Homeboy lost his place. Come on, man. British Racing Green has to take the lead. Oh, he's closed me out. <laughs> this level off. That happened all the time. Man, red is way up high. I might have to redo this race. Oh, we're like neck and neck. Can you imagine if this was one and two? But unfortunately, homeboy's way up front. I don't know if we're going to catch him. Oh, whoa, I'm getting squiggly. 
Unfortunately, I think he's too fast. All because I hit that box. Yeah, I'm gonna have to retry. That's such a shame. I hit the wall and all went to shit. That sea foam, like, or like, I don't even know, Robin's Egg Blue Mini is sick. Nice color. I love that little turbo just doing its work. This is for 35 grand though, guys, so just keep that in mind. Drove the length of, oh, I thought it was going to be an achievement for like, or a trophy for just going off track like a buffoon. <laughs> that was horrible. I was so amped up for overtaking them, I didn't actually break on that corner. <laughs> I attempted a recovery. It's like, no, bro, you're done. You're done. This is awesome. Try and take him on the outside. Oh, it's tough. Oh, there you go. There you go. Take him on the outside. Oh, force him out. Let's go. Come on, little turbo mini. Don't mess it up. I mean, the mini's so small, it's pretty easy for it to clear it, but... Oh, I think I had... He had better boost. I'm just going to keep him in my rears. Actually, I can just use the mirror to follow him. Very clean. Very clean. Let's go. I'm going to break a bit late. Turn in. That's what I'm talking about, dog. Let's go. That red mini is overtaking him. He's actually approaching me with great haste. Oh, come on! No! No! Get the fuck out of here, bitch! <laughs> no, get back on track! 
<laughs> Just one of these, like right back to him. You don't get to do that. <laughs> oh man. He ain't getting it. I just did my tumbo. I'm a tumbo him. No way. Ain't happening. <laughs> just stiff arming it through the car. <laughs> Dude, that was a great finish. We went off roading. That little mini just turned rally. That was amazing. I mean, he had it coming. That's what you get. <laughs> Dude, that finish was such money. I love it. <laughs> oh, not getting by. Not happening. Oh, God. Give me that $35,000. Oh, yes. $35,000. All right. We got to go back to it, man. All right. Let's... We'll go up, down, okay? We'll start with top and go all the way down. So we're going to get that Mini Cooper, the the modern. Oh, man, that was hilarious. That was really funny. Uh, okay. Good stuff. Man, unfortunate. Okay, hold on. I'm not going to be able to do this right away. Okay, what car do I need? Uh, is there a restriction? Road car and from a certain country. That's it. So. Oh, it's okay. Well, I'm going M3. First time with the M3. Before we do... I got used to wash them. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Okay, my dudes. Sorry about that. Oh, 100%. I would be pissing myself if I did that to somebody online. I don't do that shit online, but to the AI, no sympathy. None. We let them know. Okay. I'm excited right now, man. I'm excited to use the M3. And the rest of the whips are going to get abused out here. I'm not going to lie to you. Can't, can't sit. I, know what to do. I might move my... That's better. Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> it keeps Ben. Uh, uh, yeah, you guys can't type in all caps, but I, d I was able to read this. No, no. Uh, premium membership is separate from donations. Premium membership is like a, a level. It's like a recurring membership. So you have to actually sign up for it. Everything is exactly the same. That's so fun. Yikes! Okay. That's okay. It's, let him catch up. I'm in a... This car has way more power. Everything is the same. <laughs> the iDrive system as well. That's awesome. Okay, let's go. This is where we're just going to eat up the competition. And the brakes are good. You're not squiggly. You're rear drive, so you're not going to understeer. Excuse me, Mr. TT. Hairdresser's cars. 
That's first place. See you later. A little over. It's okay. We got the power to make up for it. I'm on the I'm on the racers line. I wish you could customize it more though, like visually. Because my F3 is not stock, right? So it, it doesn't look like this anymore. But they even got the carbon fiber trim right. Like for earlier models of the M3, they gave you like a carbon fiber trim. They ended up changing it down the line. Like the E92, I should say, the E90X. I'm just looking at the details of the, oh, that was way over. You guys do want to check out my whip i do have an instagram for it uh the account is dan underscore e92 m3 go follow me there bro don't mean no punk <laughs> and be sure to check out my uh youtube instances or socials as well facebook twitter instagram and snapchat discord for the danq8000 page linked in the description as well let's go Last lap, let's bring it home. There you go. That's awesome. I love that they have all the colors. That's. Let's go. I mean, to be fair, we're in a completely different class. So it's like, we're, we're obviously gonna walk the floor, but I have no, I don't care. So every day you come back to the game, I think within 24 hours, you can, um, my dad owned one of these. It was a convertible, but he had a mini compress. Oops. All right, we're about to go for the next list. I like obtaining cars. Like that's always fun to me. Alright, do they care? No, they don't care about this one either, guys. They really don't. They're like, just go out there and be somebody. But we're going up against the Mito. Like... Man, we're gonna have, like... I don't even know, more than twice the cylinders. <laughs> oh, wait, he was gonna say something. Oh, well. Nighttime driving. Let's give it. Nice. Wait till we get into like GT cars, like, you know, GT3s and things like that. We're gonna end up like every car we drive is gonna feel slow. to put on the brakes for that one. A little sideways, but we're good. was fighting me on that corner. Uh, is something wrong cuz he's only driving with one hand? I think it's I think the car is a manual. So he's constantly shifting. Yeah, see that's what's happening. But he's leaving his hand down there. That's pretty realistic, actually. I wish I could look down at him and see what he's doing, but...
Nice, hit that beautifully. That blind apex though, like that would probably make you feel really squiggly. Now we're just dominating. <laughs> I'm surprised they let me do this. Let me play such a higher vehicle, you know, like higher ranked vehicle, higher class. And that's a dub. Naturally. What do you mean, Juicy? Like the licenses? Alright, give me that a barth. It's a fun, nippy little car. I've done one level so far. I think there's, I think there's like five different licenses. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Six, maybe. Hey, James. I'm Baptiste Beauvoir. Nice to meet you. Alsace region is in France, but it also is close to Germany and Italy. The yellow flowers around this track are really beautiful, aren't they? France is a country known for its delicious bread, and I think the baguettes are particularly special. He did just say that. Today's race starts in broad daylight, but it'll be dark by the time it ends. Best make sure you have a good breakfast, I suggest. Oh, I didn't. Whatever. Who cares? Bourgeois. Bourgeois is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. All right. Place Third place or higher, and we'll get that Polo GTI. It is not in the game, no, Dave. They, they only, it's interesting, they have R8, uh, quad, or sorry, R8, um, my brain isn't working, uh, TT, oh wait, they might, I, it's, it's 20, wait, no, they don't. Oh, shh. Sorry. I don't know if I clipped him. Hey, Jack. Oh, shit. Sorry, I hit a hairdresser. Hit another one. Sorry. Do they care that I'm running into these guys? They don't actually, Dave. They don't have any RS cars in the game. I'll show you next, like when I get out of this race. I looked at a few Audis. They just have like a few of the Le Mans cars, the TT, R8, not even the new ones, which is surprising. Unless I was looking at the wrong thing. Oh shit, I didn't break it up. And I broke the car. That was a rough corner. I should have braked way sooner. That's where the weight reduction would have come in handy. I didn't look, Hunter. I don't know. Nope, not even not even an RS6. There's no RS6s. I look. That was the car I actually looked for. I'll go back, but yeah, no, their Audi selection isn't super good. only a two-lapper. Look at that view.
Ah, oh, shit! I went wide. Damn it. Don't be afraid to bring. Oh. That was a much better corner instead of going off into the sand. Final straight. Ooh, look at the damage. <laughs> Let's glaze over that. All rounder. One race is on 10 different tracks. Now we have all three, so that's the third race. So I'll go. I'll go talk to Buddy, get my bonus for collecting this one, and we'll call it. And then I'll I'll go to the dealership and I'll look up some of your cars for you guys because I know a few people are asking me if there's a few different things in the game. All right, back to the cafe. I don't know, Juicy. I did one of them. I, I just... I, I'll probably go back to it a little bit in a bit. Alright, congratulations. You've got all three cars. This completes your European Hot Hatch collection. Once you collect your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about them. Escape. Pavilion has been made available. GT Auto. Oh, you know what? It's possible... Hmm. Okay, what does Chris have to say about the M3? This E92 M3 is the fourth installment in the BMW M3 series that began with E30. Its pride is in its engine. It's the only M3 to come equipped with a menacing V8. At the time of its development, BMW was powering its other cars with V10s built for F1 racing. So it chopped off two cylinders of that engine. Speed and torque achieved by this high-precision V8 was nothing to dismiss. What's more is you'll be surprised at how light it is compared to its, in, the, in, its inline 6. It is a lighter engine than the previous i6 that was in the E46 M3. Indeed, this incredible car is worth having for the power plant alone. Damn right. All right, collection European hot hashes. He's going to talk about it. All right, it refers to hatchback cars with powerful engine and a sporty suspension. Take the high-performance GTI version of Volkswagen's first-generation Golf, which made its debut in 76. It's not generally considered to be the first hot hatch. Polo is the successor to this original GTI. While brands such as England's Cooper and Italy's Barth have been producing high-end performance models since the 50s. Alright, wash a car at GTI. That's what you want me to do, is I gotta wash a car? <laughs> Alright, visit maintenance, maintenance and servicing. Escapes and showcase pavilions are now open. At least they look pretty interesting, to say the least. First, this menu is about experiencing what GT Auto has to offer. If the tuning shop is all about improving your car's performance, then GT Auto is about how it looks. GT Auto consists of three floors. Let's visit maintenance and servicing first. I'm sure a few of your cars have become a bit dirty after the driving you've done. Let's give them a wash. Wash one of your cars GT Auto, then come back here once you're done. Does it cost? Escapes now open. All right, let's check it out. Maintenance and servicing. Oh, this is the customization. Oh, that's where you go, boy. Maintenance and servicing. Yeah, just put it in the aqua. Exactly. This shop is GT Auto. If you want to customize and wash, there are floors that there are floors that offer different services and products. That's sick. 
And there are a lot of exciting custom parts here for the, uh, the car enthusiast. I hope you enjoy your time here at GT Auto. Alright. On this floor, we perform engine main car maintenance. This is where we also install wide body kits. Drive your car too long and its performance will drop. So remember to bring it regularly. That's so sick. Okay, well, what's the wide body look like on this? It need, I mean, the, uh, the wheel offset is completely wrong for the wide body. Look at that. That offset is trash. Ew, you need... Oh, that's horrible. I am not doing that. That'll give you better track width. I mean, in the long run, it is. Yikes, that fitment is trash. You need better wheels. You need bigger wheels before you can even think about doing that. Car wash. There you go. It's all... <laughs> this guy. Uh, sorry guys. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go look around then. If it'll let me. Let's go back to GT Auto. And let's go see what we can do to customize. According to your own personal tastes. Save to my library using save style. These styles can be applied later using the load style. You can also access the livery editor, which allows you to repaint your car. Got everything you need to personalize your ride. Well, let's see. I'm curious, like, the wheels I have are OEM. They're the competition wheels. So, that's the problem. If I could choose to put any of these aftermarket wheels on, I would go with BBS, probably. These are expensive wheels, so just keep that in mind. The, one of the most common ones you see are the E88s, which you'll know when they're like a three-piece wheel. Kind of like that. I want something as similar to the ones that I have as I can. So I have tri-spokes. Those look like E88s right there. But that's kind of close. That's fairly close. That's like a, I don't know if that's matte. So you can mess these up and you have to buy a new set. Ten K. Holy shit, those are expensive wheels. I mean we have eighty eight we have like eighty grand, so I'm gonna spend some money on this. I'll probably go with the REV sevens. They're very similar to what I have. Before I purchase it, I just wanna make sure. T E thirty sevens are pretty sick though. But they're so common, like Yeah, it's a shame. They, they can't put absolutely everything, so I don't blame them. So I'm just going to go with BBS. I'm going to go with the REV7s. All right, no, we're going to go with a... Uh, 18's probably good for the track, but I'm going to go with a 19. Wide. Do I want wide? Offset. Yeah, we want to go... Well, I, I wonder if I should go 18s. That's better for the track. little bit chunkier what kind of can we set like a certain tire okay i'm happy with that custom parts front let's get a new lip okay since you're only allowed one lip i'll just buy it carbon fiber looking good there you go now we got a lip it kind of looks like mine a little bit we get skirts there you go gotta go i have skirts on mine so we're gonna go with that Rear canards. Oh, we only got one. Sorry. So no rear canards, but diffuser. That's pretty aggressive diffuser. I don't have it. Let's hope it's got like... Dude, it actually has the M Performance Wing. I've never played a game that where it's had the M Performance Wing in it. I actually have the M Performance Wing. That's the one I have. That's hilarious. 
What are the odds of that? It's got the end performance. That's pretty close to my whip so far. Except for the diffuser. The diffuser's not right, but... That's so badass. It's looking more and more like my car. The headlights are different, though. Other parts... Yellow, warm, 30... No, you got what? You want daylight. Six thousand K. Um, okay. Wait. Oh wait, I can't oh boo. I thought I'd let you black out the you can't even change the caliper color. Boo. License plate. I want rem yeah, can we remove it? Okay. Well, how can I see what the there you go? That's the okay, the, it depends if you're Euro or I mean in Canada, our plates are like this, so the Type A plates, rear. We we only need one in the back. We only need a. Where I'm from, we only you only need to have a plate in the back. Front grill can't be. I'll bet you when we put on performance brakes. I would like to lower it, but we we're gonna have to buy a new suspension. Uh. Okay. M. Three space one I'm not gonna drive a Prius <laughs> I'm not gonna go out and buy myself a Prius bro that ain't happening okay back it up I hope it applied it we'll see if it applies it okay let's go back to the garage actually no I'm gonna go here I'm gonna buy a new suspension Cause I want to lower this bitch. Greater collector's level. From here on, you'll sell your racing. Oh, sick! Engine power. You also need to reinforce your brakes and chassis. I'm gonna get new brakes too. So, big brake kits. There you go. Drilled or slotted? I actually my my rotors are, are drilled and slotted. It's really just personal preference. They both do different ways of distributing it. Or displacing the heat, right? So I guess it depends what you're after. I don't know. I think I think slotted look a little cleaner. So we'll go with slotted. Better braking. And now we could probably change the brake. Um new pads. Let's go with the race pads. New mat well, those are headers basically, so. This thing, I mean, it increases it a little. It's not going to be super dramatic. Polish the parts. Increase torque. Not much, but that, that's, a, that, that's a lot of work. Racing muffler. I don't like how it looks at high RPM, which is exactly what this car needs. I really don't like how it looks, though. I wish I could see the extreme. Fuck it, we'll give it a new exhaust. It's only a single exit, though. That's why it's bizarre. I'm going to slap it. Uh, what else? Clutch and flywheel. Fully customized. Honestly, oh, it low, it goes down by a small amount. But it's fully customizable. We got to go with that. I know I'm spending 20 grand on suspension. I'm <laughs> racing tranny. I'll save on that. For now, weight reduction is probably a good call. New headers will reduce a lot of back pressure. That might be a good mod to do, actually. Um, what else? I mean, I, I'd have to, like, buy into the, uh... I already had the sport brake kit, but it did, I couldn't change the rotors. Now I probably can. But now I have the suspension. I think that's good for now. Let's go to tuning. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Tyler. What's up? Oh, I don't want GT Auto. Let's go to the garage. We'll have to m just make a couple of adjustments. Um, okay. Car settings. Okay, so sport's hard. It's fine for now. Um, already had height adjustable. Body height adjustment front. I want it low. Lower than your girlfriend's standards. Okay. That's what we want. I mean, I wish I could see it more specifically, but... Uh, okay, ECU. I don't think I have that yet. No. 
Nothing to do with that. No ECU modification. Diff. Don't have that right now. Nothing to really change. What else was I going for? I did suspension. I dropped it. I lowered it. Um, I was going to do something else and I forget. The, oh, right. It's a customization. It's somewhere else. All right. Well, that's probably good then. There you go. That's nice and low. I like it. All right. Good, good, good. So sick, and it's the manual as well. I love that. It is my car, which is basically the... I mean, again, this is stock, but... That's so sick, bro. It just makes me feel at home. Again, except for the BBS wheels, but I would probably go for BBSs, like I said. But I do have Brembo's. I gotta change the color, though. Brem my The brakes are a different color. So we're gonna go back to GT Auto. And we are going to... Hopefully, now that we have non-stock calipers, I can change them. Um... What would it be under? Custom parts? No. See, I don't like that rear exhaust. It's It doesn't suit the car at all. You need a quad, but it's... I paid 10k. We're going to end up doing it. Oh, uh, shit. What am I doing? Um, Other parts. Caliper color. All right, let's... Oh, you can't choose them? You can't do like a... Wow. I mean, mine are blue, but they're not this color. They're like... They're like a, like a kind of a baby blue. That sucks. I mean, I'll have to go with blue because that is the closest to it. I wish I could change the front grille so that it's not chrome. Because I, I, it's not blacked out at all. I mean, sorry, it's not chromed. It's been dechromed. Honestly, that's fairly close given the circumstances. I wish you could just go M32 or something. Or not M32, but just, like, replace the one you had. Uh, just do M32. Whatever. It's basically the same thing. That's sick. Okay, I have to do, I have to do something, and it's like... Fuck. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Okay. Yeah, that exhaust looks very weird. Looks very bizarre. No, it, I... Well, no, it's not. I thought so, too. I went to that page. All it did was... Uh, let me see. It just changed the, uh, the... It's just... That's the... That's just the page. So you can see them better. That's all it is. Whatever. I'm happy with it. Alright, let's go do this. Chunkier tires, and I have to go back to the cafe. Alright, they still need to do a good job washing your car. Doesn't it feel great when the bodywork's all gleaming? Another service available at GT Auto too, you know. That's true, I could go for the wide body kit. We'll see what it looks like. I don't know if I actually have the money for it. I think I just have the money for it. I think it's 25k. Anyway, also, if you create a good-looking car in GT Auto, I recommend going to Scapes to take photos of it. It's not time now for your latest reward. Enjoy. All right, Tokyo Expressway. That should be fun. Championship Tokyo Highway Parade. All right, what would you like? All right, so finish in top three, and you get a roulette ticket. All right. This many, I like to go to World, World Circus and take part in Tokyo Highway Parade. I thought so, too, KG. I, I thought so, too. It's an event for skilled drivers, and you'll need to na you'll need a National B license to participate. If you don't have your National B license yet, head over to the license center and take necessary tests. See you, Sarah. Once you've earned it, go to World Circuits and enter the event. Your goal is to finish top three overall. Looks like there might be rain on the day of the race, so be sure to drive carefully. I'll be rooting for you. Okay. This should be fun. High speed. It does look more like it, yeah, for sure. It's not quite the same, but it's very close. The exhaust is what's really messing it up. Are you asking, what do I use on my car in real life, Keith? Or, or just in, like, in-game? 
Because in game, I'm using the sport exhaust. Or sorry, not the sport exhaust. The race exhaust. And I guess I guess I can just answer both. In, in, uh, in real life, I have a custom job. It's fully straight piped. It's stupid loud. It's just, uh, it's absolutely, like, obnoxiously loud. <laughs> but it's fun, so. All right, well, do they have a restriction? No, I can use what I want. Let's put the M3 through its paces. All right, two races in this one, expressway. It's gonna be high speed. It's gonna be sick. Cavalum. Hello, my name is Rick Cavalum. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm a big fan of the Toyota 86, and I'm thrilled to be competing with the 86 of the races in Tokyo. At least everyone's nice. Not everyone's like a bunch of douchebags. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh, geez. A little bit of... Oh, he squished me out. This is going to be narrow. You can feel the difference. Holy shit. We are going quicker. Yikes, I couldn't break in time. I'm causing damage. I don't think I've ever left this view. There you go. Oh, wow. You see so much more in this one, hey? Okay? Is she spitting back there? Yeah, a little bit. She's spitting. I don't know what that is. That is that fireworks? Much better with a few mods on it, hey? There you go. That's one race, though. I still have another one to go.
I just realized. Uh, sorry, guys. One second. Oh wait. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. I can't. I don't know if we can. Can we do that? Can we put nitrous in game? It's just post race, Gareth. After the race is done, they flick their hazards on. I don't really care what they say. Oh, well, no, no. Oh, oh. Already fucked it up. I'm being more aggressive now, I've noticed. Oh yeah, I was just gonna go to the showcase. FC, you want me to tell you how much I paid for my M3? Is that, I don't, that's not something you really ask people. Makes my controller vibrate. Oh, in the game. Um, I think it was just over a hundred. No, I think it was like 97,000 credits. Yikes. I gotta keep this puppy like locked in. The rain is making things a little different. Championship is mine. All right. Well, I gotta go. I'm gonna go try and find some people's uh, requested vehicles. Cause they were asking me. I'll see where they are. But I think some cars aren't in the game, which is kind of surprising. I guess that makes sense. Fast, yeah. All right, we got ourselves this. Oh, this is the next three. So I was going to say, we, we get to pick one right off the bat. All right, I got a Yunos. I, they're all roughly the same. For speed. MX-5. 
Dude, the amount of people that are gonna be doing MX5 builds in this game is just absolutely astronomical. It's just the way it is. All right, they want me to go back for that. All right, you emerge victorious at the Tokyo Highway Parade. Magnificent work. Roulette, and I got Sport Pavilion. And I've unlocked multiplayer. And they want Jap Japanese FR sports cars. So front engine, rear drive. All right. So I've got the Unos already, and they want me to get the Sylvia and the Levin. So the AE86, essentially. For this menu, I'd like you to collect Japanese FR sports cars. Have you heard of the term FR? Yes. First cars that have the engine mount in the front. And the driven wheels at the rear. In other words, the rear tires propel the car and the front tire steer it. Ergo, the best, I think, one of the best uh, drive trains. You know, front engine, rear drive. It's a driver's car. The vision of labor between the front and rear tires provides optimal balance and efficiency. Try driving an FR car and you'll see what I mean. Collect all three and come back when you're done. Okay. Okay. So, more challenges to unlock that. Sport is now open. And the multiplayer. So, okay. So, I was going to go... I'll tell you what. I'll open my um, thing first. My gift. Maybe we can get a new ro like a roulette spin. I have yet to unlock a car. So... Or a performance part. I've only ever gotten credits. That is some cheese. I was about to get a performance part. And they're like, no, you're not. No, you're not. Okay. There's four more out of the collection. The mini. Chumini. The Barth would be fun to drive, though. Uh, the Unos would be fun just because it's a convertible. So you got it on the track, like all this open air, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm going I'm gonna look at them. I'm looking at them. No, don't worry. Oh, let me just go to manufacturer and I'll go to Audi right now. Yeah, see, it's not many. There really isn't that many. Like it's shocking how little there are. Even AMGs, there's not that many AMGs. I mean there is a decent amount, but not as many as you'd imagine. I think there's a ton of BMs though. Yeah, more than more than AMG. There's only eleven. So anyway, um, that's just what you possibly know. I'll go to the dealership. So I'll, well, I'll tell you what, we'll go to used cars first. See if they what they have for this. If we please here, we got new cars. These are always random. The Sylvia K. We already have the Sylvia K. Oh, wait, do we have the K or the Q? Don't recall. Um, oh, the three, th oh, the CSL is so sick. The Batmobile. Wow, there's some rare cars in here. The limited stock. They're kind of expensive. SLS AMG. NSX. SLR McLaren, there you go. Scirocco. The Scirocco was a sick looking car. It's about the same price as I think a GTI. We never got them here. Anyway, let's go to, uh, that's all used cars. So I'll go to the, uh, where is it? Brand Central, which is where you buy all new cars. Okay, we'll go to Europe just because we'll get, we'll tick Audi off the list. All right. They don't actually, like, I was shocked at how little they had. So you got the various TTs, the TTS. This is like the only road going R8 they have, which is so weird. The V8 R8. And then it's a bunch of like you know track based cars. I mean they have they have like you know the LMS and things like that, but road going, that's your, that's all you have. See what I mean? It's kind of in terms of road cars, they only have three, two TTs, titties, <laughs> and then the R8, the four point two. So it's kind of interesting. What does V Dub have? Same kind of thing. 
They actually, they have a Polo GTI, a Golf GTI, and a Scirocco R, but they don't have, an, like, a Golf R. But I guess this would kind of be similar. Scirocco R and Golf R. I was just in used cars. It wasn't there. See, like, you remember how we looked at the total amounts in the car collection? There were only 11 Audis in the game. Like, look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's only 10 listed here. So there must be one that's um, a limited one. Based on the fact that they said there was 11. But there's, there's no RS cars in this game. Based on that. Based on, like, the collections. Used cars are older anyway. So what about Ben's? What's Ben's got? That's it? No. Oh, that, okay, that can't be it then. If there's only, if it's only showing you one. There's tons of Benzes. Oh, wait, that's Mercedes. I think I need to go AMG. Sorry, that's just... Okay, my bad. This is AMG. They're separate. There you go. I was going to say. I was like, it's right there. So they have the A45, the baby AMG. This is like the most expensive AMG. Like, I, like in the car in its class. It's like something like... like what? How much is it? It's like... Like seventy thousand dollars or something Canadian for like a hatchback, it's it's hilarious. Yeah, there's not as much diversity as you'd imagine. Okay, we have a few Lamborghinis. Let's take a look. So various Huracans, Merchilagos, Aventadors, uh, and Veneno. That one is labeled differently. That one's going to be a tough one to crack. How about the Raris? What do we got for that? Lots of red. <laughs> F430, 458, F8. This thing is a gorgeous car. Jesus Christ. And various versions. La Ferrari, Enzo, FXX. No, it's not Brembo's. What that? I thought that too. It's brand, so it gives you information on the brand. So like, so you can go to the channel, watch a video on it, like learn their history, that sort of thing. See, it's just like there's Michelin as well. So stuff like that. So yeah, it's it's. I feel like they need to have more cars. Personally, I think they're kind of lacking, but I'm sure they'll bring DLC down the line, and you'll get way more. I think this is like a launch car set. So I, I've checked the Pagani. There's it's the Huayra and the Zonda R. And then Asia's got, you know, a lot of Japanese. Japanese and South Korea. Japan and South Korea. <clears throat> anyway. I'm gonna get back to it. There's like four hundred and like some I think four fifty cars in the game. Let me see what this is. Sport mode. Okay. Oh, I'm not doing that. You have to put in, like, your email and shit. That's always, like, a part that you <laughs> gotta watch out for. Alright, well, anyway. You shouldn't be, Sierra. I've been doing streams that are, like, four to eight hours these days all right what do they want me to do okay they want me to get the gift car all right i need a japanese car so that's that's the restriction here oh it has to be a unos all right whatever first place will give us 10k let's go overall it's good it feels good i mean some parts of it look not as good as i think it should personally but oh all right, this should be fun. Ah, oh, that was rough. Switching whips.
I got a lot of places to make up. That's a shit line. I took a bad line. I braked enough, but I... Terrible line. Yike, I'm going to the wall! Shit. I don't know, man. That, that might have killed my race. I have too many places to make up. It's interesting that this is the only car they're going to let me use. Because I have other Japanese cars that have more power. I think you're right there, Lucci, for sure. Oh! Oh, I went off again! That's it, man. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. They put me right in the back. That's kind of rude. I did the same thing. I think most cars are able to power through that, but I might need to improve my, my kit before I go with this race. I seem to be struggling just to climb the pack. They give you three laps to do it. It's not a whole lot. I think I braked way too much. I've only made up two positions and I don't have a whole lot of track left. Ah! I didn't mean to hit him. Shit. And then you just, they lose you. This, this I mean, I need parts. I need mods. I'm still slun like I'm still understeering off the track. It's just too effort. It's too much effort just to climb. I gotta do something with this. I gotta change it up. Boo to that. 
I mean, I want to look at that race again, and I want to see what they recommended. It's Japanese front engine rear. But it's suggested it's 450. Oh, it's 450. I didn't even see that. Oh, man. So I got to tune this bitch. That's my only option. So I might as well... I wonder if I should go somewhere else then. Maybe I should go up here first. Same thing. I got to tune it. There's no choice. I have to tune the... The Unos. That I didn't I didn't notice that. That's on me. So let's go and spend some money, I guess. Spend some of that money. Alright, it's at comfort tires. Let's go with sports mediums. That'll drop like jump it dramatically. Decent there. I mean, a turbo build Unos would be pretty cool. But it'll probably push me over the edge, right? They said recommended 450. So no, there's no restrictions. It's only got 117 horse. Um, do I want to do a turbo build? Shit's going to be expensive. And I don't know if I want to spend that much money on. That'll bring me to 150 horses. That'll crank me to 448. That's just under. But I have to spend 17k. You know what? No. Yes. We're doing it, I mean. Big turbo. Uh, semi-race muffler. I don't have the extreme yet, but I have racing. 7k on an exhaust. That'll push us over to 453. Do I want to spend seven grand though on it? Not really. I'd maybe a better intercooler. That'll probably boost it just as well. Save some money. That's perfect. Let's go with a new intercooler. Money in the bank. Maybe a new filter. I will, uh, it said recommended for 430, right? New filter. They're, they're relatively inexpensive. So anything inexpensive. Brembo's for this bad boy. Better brakes. Why not? There you go. Big brake kit. <laughs> Big brake kit on the Unos. Let's go. Yes, it is controller friendly. I'm using mine right now. Big shout out to Jinx Custom Controllers. Obviously, you can get the Danq8000 build with the link in the description. Get it, boy. So they recommended. Sorry, what did they say it was? 450 recommendation. We're at 469. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now with a big turbo attached. Big old turbo. We go from 117 to like 166. That's a big jump in horsepower. So that's going to make... I think that's going to help us catch them. Because considering they start us right in the back. Stock suspension though is not... There you go. A little burr. A little tur... Turber. Oh, brakes are so much better. Oh my god. Look at the braking difference. With a stiffer suspension, it would probably corner so much better, too. Get out of my way. Yeah, the brakes are so good. So much manageable. More manageable. <laughs> so good. Oh, the handling just improves just with the brakes alone. Because you can brake a lot later. But with better suspension, that would just put it over the edge. Yikes! Uh, okay, brakes. That, that saved me a little. I keep forgetting that corner is dicey. I keep forgetting to brake earlier. Damn it, I lost I lost a ton of positions. Once the pop-up headlamps come up, you know we mean business. Fuck you, man. I'm going to I'm going to get bumper car on them. That 86 is not having it. Oh, I cut a little. That was a trash line. All right, we still got one lap. Just don't miss this corner. I always do. Yeah. 
Yikes. Uh, I was hoping not to break there, but... Is that a GT86 up front? Lose it now. Go. Push, push, push. This guy's going to make us fight for this. Come on. He's got more power than me. He's got 200. But he's non turbo. Come on. Let's go. I'm lighter than him. Don't mess it up. Go, baby, go. The 90s are back. <laughs> there you go. Ethan, I want to thank you for that super chat. Do you see yourself getting a racing wheel, racing wheel or no? Also, which one do you think is better? Grand Turismo or Motorsport? Bring me Forza. Um, I do want to get myself a wheel. I want to get one that... Um, will work on both PC and PS5. Like, at, you know, I, me not having to buy two of them, that'd be a lot better if I could just have the one. Um, so yeah, I've been looking into them. They're just so pricey. That's the downside, right? Um, uh, what do I think is better? I, I haven't played Forza Motorsport since 7, so I barely remember it. And I haven't played a Gran Turismo game in a long time. So it's it's tough for me to really judge which one's better. I wish this game looked better, though. I think I think uh, the fact that, like, so Homeboy did say, like, if it was made just for PS5 and not PS4 as well, it would look better. And I agree with that. I think what's happening is the fact that they have to, like, co-develop it. If you make it specifically for one of those, it's going to look so much cleaner. So... That's just my opinion. I'm curious what the Sylvia is at. 360. So I'd have to do some tuning anyway. So we're going to leave it there. Get that AE86. Everybody who watches uh, Spec D is going to be rock hard in the next few minutes. Matthew Simmons, nice to meet you. Growing up, I was obsessed with the Japanese Touring Car Championship. And because I'm particularly a fan of Nissan, you're in the Sylvia. All right, good for you. Good for you, big boy. Again, they start me right at the bottom, but I gotta work my way up. For a whole nation. I got the weight of the nation on top of me. I remember when I was younger, I wanted a 300 so badly. Like a 300 ZX. Man, this is a. Wait, as soon as you show me some corners, she's just a. She's just a beast. All oh, 160 horse. It doesn't weigh much. That's the thing, though. It's a light. It's a light bish. She went on Jenny Craig. First racing game I've ever played. Um, probably Gran Turismo One, or it might have been Need for Speed One, depending when it came out. I don't remember when those two came out. I know One uh, Gran Turismo One came out in like ninety six, ninety seven. So depending when Need for Speed One came out. That's impressive. We're hitting 218 kph, 219, 220 kilometers an hour. She's still climbing. 223, 224, 25, 225. Oh, we drifted. Cue the Tokyo Drift theme song. Uh, 
I missed the apex there. Oh god, by a long shot, I'm off the line. Yeah, I mean, what I might do is get in touch with a Sony contact and ask if uh, if I'm okay to stream the music. Uh, you know what I mean? Final lap, home stretch. Uh, the PS5 controller works pretty good with it. It's got the adaptive uh, adaptive triggers, so it make you know there's a lot of feedback there. But yeah. Anyways, I was saying I'll, I'll try and get in touch and see if I'm allowed to, but it's YouTube is is so brutal when it comes to that. All right, the AE86. There's like no power. That car is like no power. I like just more cars. Honestly, I don't think there's enough cars in the game. Right, in the current state. You know? Yeah, I'd say so. Gran Turismo 8 will be a massive leap forward. This is kind of like the bridge game. You know, the game that bridges PS4 to PS5. So, anyway. These are all optional, but they recommend certain levels. I think we've already done the Clubman Cup. We have, so, but just not on this track. I wonder how it tracks that. I'm not necessarily going to do everything uh, in the game, like every race, but I'll try and go based on these, the collections and things. Because I think the cafe is what keeps you on track for, you know, races and things. Uh, I have a copy from um, Sony. PlayStation sent me a code for early play, uh, Justin. Congratulations, you've got all three cars. This completes... Uh, your Japanese FR sports cars collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about these cars. All right, we've unlocked the Deep Forest Raceway in Switzerland. Uh, Tom Matano's new. Let's go see what he has to say. Is this your Unos Roadster? Hey, aren't you Mr. Tom Matano, the famous designer who worked for GM, BMW, and Mazda? <laughs> that's a coincidence. Yes, that's me, all right. Nice to meet you both. Wow, Mr. Matano, it's an honor to meet you. Mr. Tsutomi Matano is also famous for having worked on the Mazda MX-5 Miata Roadster. He's worked in Europe and America for quite a while now, and goes by the first name Tom. Thanks. You know, from the start, uh, I wanted to give his, this Roadster a timeless design. It's full, of that, it's full of that sentiment that compels owners to wish their car a good night. I've even heard of fans who chose to sleep in it the very first day they had it in their garage. Truly, it's a car you'll christen. Throw birthday parties for on one day. Lovingly restore. I I agree with that sentiment. Sentiment. Do you want to hear more from him? Yeah, I do. There was this one time when I received a wedding invitation from a total stranger living in Texas. I thought maybe it's an owner of a roadster, so I contacted the Roadster Club of Texas. Found out that the happy couple owned a red car and a white car, and met each other at that very club. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend the wedding, but a year later I received the note that that they had a baby together. So I painted the miniature model of a roadster in pink and sent it to them. Being able to connect... That's funny. I get that. You know, combining the two colors. Being able to connect with owners like this is really gratifying as a designer. It's the result of everyone who became involved with this car being able to share their passion. See you later, Gwenlock. Thanks for stopping in, brother. I appreciate you. Well, thank you for sharing such a precious story to us. Let's talk some more about design sometime if we get a chance. I'd love to. How about you, old man Chris? Hmm, let's have a closer look. No, this is one of the true icons of the industry. One that changed the history of sports cars in the world. It is a tractor styling, a top that can be folded down. He literally, like, flip, flap. That's it. That's all it takes to open the roof. Literally, that's it. Twist and flick. It has a tractor styling. A top, okay. Uh, and the cockpit space is just snug. Oh, and its price at the time of release was very affordable. One thing I've heard of, too. I've never driven an MX-5, but I've heard it's got one of the most satisfying gearbox throws in, like, of all... all cars like all gearboxes ever existed it's one of the most satisfying gear changes it's very snappy it's short it's a short throw so 
Anyway, and the cockpits, okay, da, da, da. But above all, above all, the market for convertible lightweight sports cars was quickly decreasing at the time. It was a dark time for enthusiasts. This was the savior that revived this entire genre of cars. Okay, Luca, what do you have to say, bud? All right. These three Japanese sports cars are front engine rear wheel drive examples produced between the 80s and 90s. The S13 Silvia, the Unos Roadster, and of course the Corolla 11 AE86, which we call the 86. These are nostalgic favorites of Japanese car enthusiasts. It's no secret that Japanese sports cars are popular all over the world and they have been since the 60s. With greats such as the Toyota 2000 GT, Honda's first sports car is the S series, Nissan's GTR was born in the 60s as well. Oh god, I love the OG Skyline GTR. It's so clean. Collection, French hot hacks. Alright, so now I gotta collect some French cars. Alright, so we've already got the Clio RS220, but we gotta get the 208 GTI and the DS3. Okay, let's learn. Let's get this bish. I like to collect three modern hot French hacks. I wonder if the whole, like, you just constantly level like unlock new cars you can take all three other nice rewards the same thing as usual a little baguette un baguette avec du fromage all right let's bounce shall we done with this i don't really i can't rate a game that i've only been playing for four hours you know it's this it, we're not there yet but um so far i am enjoying it i like the you know the objectives we're given it gives them more function more purpose to the game um, so that's nice. Deep Forest, they want us to use, well, they, what are they, okay, PP No Limit, two laps. So the country, oh, actually my vehicle is not Japanese, so I'm going to go switch to the M3. And we are going to slap some cheeks on this track. Let's get it, the Sunday Cup. The DS3, so DS3 is like a Citroen, isn't it? I, I didn't realize they branched out into DS. I didn't realize that. I must have missed the memo. Meanwhile, we're going to eat everybody up with twice the cylinders. Excuse me. It smells like croissants out here. I actually have a buddy who owned uh, a Clio V6. Actually, it was the one that's two spots back, that blue one. I mean, his wasn't blue, but I had never actually seen a Renault, or sorry, like a, like any, like, I hadn't, I hadn't seen a Renault, like, like, because in North America, we don't have them, right? We don't have French cars here. So he imported it. I'm like, this thing is badass. The whole thing has engine in the rear. It's just, they took, they, they took out what the, the whole point of a hatchback and replaced it with engine. Like, that is brilliant. I still have to make up positions. Oh, I should have braked later. There's an Alpine behind me as well. So Chumman's up front. Man, it, oh, it sounds so good in the tunnel. Oh my god. Hard on brakes, hard on brakes, hard on brakes, hard on brakes, hard on brakes. Turn in. Got an AMG Merc. Oh shit, how did I go so wide? Whoa, what happened there? That sucks, guys. Oh my goodness. That really messed me up. I have two laps to do some damage, though. some weight reduction on the M3 just to make it a little quicker in the corners. Oh, I'm off the line. Ugh. 
Yeah, you can feel the weight. It just, it shifts. I'm going to do weight reduction after this race. I have the money for it. That's a sharp corner, holy hell. Even then, I still, the turning radius was not allowing it. That's all she wrote. Okay, so I'm gonna do weight reduction, man. I really need it. So we unlocked the DS3. All right, only one more of those to go. Got to collect level seven. I would assume there will be DLC cars in the future. There's just not enough cars now to not have any. That's one complaint I have of the game is I wish there was more DLC cars. But it is what it is. Okay, let's go to, um, let's, oh wait, oh no, it's a challenge. Sorry, it's a championship, right? Oh wait, no, it's not. We're done here. Sorry, 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 sorry. I was tripping. Like, wait, what? Okay, I'm going to go back to the tuning shop and we're going to do some weight reduction. We have 77, well, just about 8, 78,000. Should be able to get some solid, uh, got to pay attention to like the condition of the car as well. Oh, they're giving me extreme mods. Oh, snap. I can get nitrous. They've given me nitrous now. And while a new engine, new car, new body will require to forfeit your current tuning part. So I can go. Okay. So you can repurchase a new engine if you want. Carbon ceramic and nitrous. That's a hundred grand for that. Um, hydraulic handbrake, new engine altogether. New body. So if it's if it, if your if your engine's like toast, you know these these carbon ceramics can take so much punishment. Man, that'll be money in the bank if I can get that. But for I, I said I wanted weight reduction, so let's go with weight reduction. You got to go stage. Oh, I've already got stage one. All right, let's go stage two. Trim some fat, guys. Dropping the weight. It's under three thousand pounds now, which is pretty dramatic. Um, stage three. Now down to 2,700 pounds. Uh, I don't know if I can get any more weight reduction. I can. No, it's not possible. Not in this. Not in this build. All right. Well, anyway, car is dramatically like that's a lot of weight drop. That's like a like a what is it? That's almost that's like a thousand pounds dropped. That's insane. That's gonna make a big difference. I'm gonna get the car carbon ceramic brakes, man. I'm doing it. I know I already have brakes, but. I'm going with carbon ceramic just because I, I know that's going to be fun. Anything else I want to do? Increase the bore or the stroke, I mean. Stroker kit. Not, it's not dramatic, though, is it? I wish you could sell some stuff. Racing club. I mean, it's, it's just going to increase the... I mean, I'd say this is going to be one of the cars we're going to max out. So I might as well purchase what I can. These are expensive tires. Holy shit. Can you imagine the traction though, man? It's just going to absolutely slap. Fully customizable computer. Power goes up quite a large margin for a pretty low price when you think, when you consider it, you know? Let's make sure there's nothing else. Anti-lag, you can't get that, obviously, without a turbo. Okay, let's go with a fully customizable. Get 
that. I'm just going to spend money on parts, like, you know what I mean? Unless, of course, I run into something that, uh... That's expensive. Better in the corners, though. It's going to be less less body roll. Uh, what are we feeling? Yeah, no, that's something that's kind of silly, Azid, for sure. You have to be online all the time. It's one of those games. Even, off even in single player, you have to be offline. And the reason they said they did that was because... Um, to keep to prevent cheating that was the reason so whether you guys feel like you know that's what you want i don't know if i should save for that new cams okay let's go with the high compression let's just like i just want to overdo it i'm overdoing it i have the money up the bore a little a 500 brake horsepower E92 M3 is kind of like the sweet spot, I think. If you can get there naturally aspirated, you are in good shape. Um, Okay, what else? Any sports? Because I've already got things that are better than this. So there's no point. I'm surprised there isn't a better exhaust up here. Intermediate tires. Can I even afford? I can just get it for more low to mid. I mean, that's what you need. Like, it, like the torque is so bad. Like in 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 the E ninety two M three, it's like honestly, I think I might do it. It's twenty k. I'm just sending it. I'm gonna do it. Stroke is up. It's stroker kit's been installed. Now it's a four point two liter. So we've gone from a four liter to a four point two. So that's fun. I'm ready for the next circuit though, and we're gonna slap with it because now our rating is at. We've lost a thousand pounds. The PP's at 607. We've gone from 414 horse to 521. And the torque goes from 295 to 350, I believe. So we are in good shape. We are in good shape. And we're gonna absolutely slap these guys. They said they recommend a 500 overall. Well, we're six. And we're gonna get the Peugeot Sport GTI, 208 GTI. I don't care, you start me in the bottom. You start me in the bottom. It's gonna be great. We, the car has lost weight. It's been stroked. Holy shit. Better brakes, the carbon ceramics. Oh, I forgot to change the color of the brakes, so they're probably yellow. So now the brakes can handle more punishment. Oh, it's a little squiggly there. Now what, we're saving up for nitrous? <laughs> oh my god, it's a lot more of an animal to hold on to. I gotta get used to this. late way too late that's gonna that's gonna kick me in the nuts go come on man that really hit me in the nuts go now we're, we're we are we are uh, spinning a little bit That's a lot more of a handful. Hard brakes, hard brakes. Heavy, 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 heavy. That's some good brakes, holy shit. And I still go off, come on. Really?
Sorry, bud. Oh, man, you really got to break hard. Holy shit. Yeah, man, I'm getting, I'm spinning in like second and third gear. I mean, we have a manual gearbox though, so I'm assuming. Oh no, the calipers are still blue. It's just carbon ceramics. I might go to the two or er, my parts and just make sure I have the right kit set up. It's possible I bought them, but they, it didn't auto equip. Uh, the driver tags. I am not sure. I'm sure you can. Anyway, that was uh, quite... I'm going to have to fiddle with some settings, I think. What do you mean find out in three hours? The hazard lights aren't always on. They only come on when you finish the track. Literally, as soon as you cross the line, the hazards come on. Okay, let me go to my settings. Uh, it'd probably be under display, right? Um, tech settings? No, that's conversations. Um, I don't think it'd be in video. I don't know, man. Uh, check it out. It's showing you all the supported wheels as well. It's possible that you might not be able to. I don't know. That seems odd. I'm going to fiddle. I'm going to do some fiddling. Your car collection is slowly starting to fill up. Allows you to read about the cars you've collected. There's all sorts of insights to be learned about the history and technology as well. Okay. Well, I've, I've got five new ones I haven't fucked with, so... Let me just change my settings. Suspension is fully customizable. Um, what else can we swap out? Diff? We Yeah, we have the normal diff. At the moment. Brakes. Okay, they are set to carbon. And racing pads. Handbrake is normal. You can get... I mean, we're not going to drift, so there's no point in that right now. I mean, we're not going to use it as a drift car. I'll oh, brake controller, I see. See, everything is set accordingly. Yeah, so it's all set. I just... She's still spinning, though. That's the crazy thing. She's spinning. Lightweight spinning like a mother. I mean, oh, the rubber. Yeah, let me check. I think it's, yeah, it's set to sports. I haven't bought any new tires yet. Because these racing tires are so expensive. They're like 30 grand. I wonder if I should go with like racing soft. These two, I guess the intermediate and the heavy wet. Those ones are exceptionally expensive. These ones aren't that. Maybe I should get like racing soft. You know. Wait, what's, oh, I don't actually, I don't think I have enough money to buy it, actually. I'm at 11 8, so I don't think that's enough. But we might get something from talking to Homeboy here, so. There you go. Hey, Maraud, my pleasure. Thanks for watching, bud. Congratulations, you've got all three. This completes your French Hot Hacks collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about these cars. Oh, a two-star roulette ticket. Nice. We're getting up there. All right, what does Chris have to say? Oh, he's already said this. Sorry, my bad. I've already talked about the E90X. Sorry. All right, what do you have to say? Menu book number 11? 
I wonder how many menu books there are. It's probably like 50 or something. All right, France holds the distinction of having hosted the world's most motor race, first motor race, way back in the 19th century. French manufacturers have been involved in motorsport for a very long time, and over the years, it excelled in producing sporty versions of compact road cars. For example, Renault's uh, motorsport division, Renault Sport, created a very, created very sporty cars using the Megane and Clio as a base. Uh, Peugeot's GTI has always been a very popular hot hatch series since it first appeared in the 80s. The DS3 Racing is another fun little car, reminiscent of DS models that competed in the World Rally Championships. All three cars represent the quintessential French hot hatch and are incredibly enjoyable to drive. But being French, if you actually go to France and you see one, it's going to be messed up. <laughs> Alright, Championship Petit Course de France. Alright, well, let's get it. They want us to do a single race, I believe. Finish top three in the circuit race. Time has come for the Petit Course de France Championship. The championship will take place in Alsace on a track that features plenty of elevation changes. Your goal is to finish in the top three. Don't forget to come back here and let me know how you did. Copy that. I love how you can just come back and be like, I did well. Did you now? Yes, I did. Where's my money? It does have wide body. Yes, I can go show you. It's a $25,000 option though, so I don't have the money to buy it, but so I've just spent a ton of money, you know? I'm curious to see how the fitment is going to be now that I've gotten wider tires. Wider wheels and tires. It might fit nicer. But I don't know if it will. Because you should... I wish you... I don't know if you can adjust the track width. That's something I haven't tested. Alright. Menu book number 12. I'll double check it. Oh, wait. I have a car to open. Um, what did I say? That I'll go to the... GT Auto. Oh, wait, what kind of driving gear can we do? I didn't look at this. That's where you can change your helmet, suit, and design new ones. I only have one. We don't have anything. So you have to, like, maybe buy them? I don't know. I mean, maybe you could paint them. It's all, it's set up for Canadian. It's like the Canadian flag set up right now. All right, let's see. Let's see, because I know the, oh wait, no, isn't that under maintenance? Actually, they do it here. Sorry, they do it in the maintenance section for some reason. Yeah, see the, the track width is, is better. It's okay in the back, but it's not super good in the front. I wish you could change. Yeah, it's going to show the fitment. See, currently the fitment is perfect. See, like before the fitment, now it's a little off. So I need to increase track width. See what I mean? It doesn't look as good. So I'm wondering if you can actually adjust the track. Well, right now fitment is absolutely stellar. So we don't really want to mess with it. So... Not yet. I'm going to go ahead and pull one of the reels. Or, sorry, not reels. Sorry, the, um, what am I talking about? My gift roll. It's a two-star. It's our first two-star roulette ticket. All right, we're all about new cars. So, it's better cars, better parts, and better money. All right, the biggest pile of money you can get. I'll take it. That works for me. Ten grand, probably. Thirty grand. Hello. Let's go. We were broke. We were exceptionally broke before this. So, um, I want to see if there's something to do with track width. Suspension. I mean, it's fully cut. That has nothing to do. I don't know if that would be. Hmm. Negative camber. I don't think I want to adjust any negative camera right now. Because suspension is not the problem. It's the... I don't, I don't see anything about track width. I wonder how do you get, how you get to stage 4 and 5. If you can even do that. There are fair ladies Z cars. Yes, there are. There's uh 
370. Uh, I know for a fact this is 370. I, I, I mean, I've raced with it in like one of the um, licensing trials. I'll have to check though what else they have. All right, France. Oh, it's got to be a French car. Okay, what do we have for French? What do they recommend? Is there like a recommendation for... They recommend it's 500 and I'm currently sitting at a 438. So that's... I've already got the Clio. It's got the most power. It's it's about the same weight. The DS3 is the lightest, uh, but not by much. This is also the heaviest car here. So I'm going to get in the car. I'm going to back up. They recommend a 500, so I'm going to have to do some tuning to get it up to what I needed to. Okay, so... Let's throw nitrous in it. Call it a day. <laughs> the big brakes. see what what can we do because we are currently a it's got 1.6 i can do a turbo again turbos are usually what i like to do when in doubt just turbocharge the bish that'll bring the power up pretty dramatically it's already set hi did you, hmm. Again, I don't want to spend too much money on the Clio. I haven't gone there yet. Photograph. Let's just go to the circuit. What's up, Heavy? How you doing? Um, so far, it's pretty good. There's some things I wish it had or, you know, were slightly different. Visually, I feel like it could be visually better. I did see some LMP cars. I didn't see any Formula 1s, though, I don't think. Could be mistaken. I just briefly went through it. So it's 5. That's cool. Cool. Okay. Alright, we haven't been in the Renault in a while. We have driven this car. This one's going to be pretty good, but now it's turbocharged, so that's going to help us. Let's get it. Was rough bad start very bad start I can't see Yes, you can tune your other cars by yourself. You can cut, you can fine tune just about every feature, I think. Ah, I don't want to hit him. It's gonna cause problems. I gotta overtake. They got me way at the back of the pack right now. I want that Clio V6, man. That thing is so badass. I don't believe this is PSVR supported. Not yet, anyway. the outside that was nice man where are the top three
Those guys had a big mully. You know what's annoying about that? We're, that's just, that's, that's like, that's three and two. Where the hell is one? Look how far up first place is. I just need to be top three to win the car. Or to win, no wait. Little bump, just a left tap. I love the sound of the turbo spooling up every time. I might be able to close the gap on him. Uh, I took that really bad. Oh, that's going to affect it. That's gonna, f oh man, that really messed me. That was my chance of catching him and I overdid it. I'm not sure if I can get him anymore. Let's see, we'll keep pushing. Couldn't beat him. That's a rough one. That, that was a tough one to hit, man. I could not. He was long gone. I had a chance on closing the gap. That new A110 is just. I don't know what they're going to give me for that. Oh, right. It's a championship. It's a championship. So if I want to win this, I have to go for number one. I have to get first place in the second race. Okay. Or he's got to get like third place. If I if I get first, he gets third. I will win. that bread done more tuning to make it a little bit easier but ah, I went over could have been worse though yikes not really good sportsmanship there oh he's not having it he's bumping me It's a reverse track, so it's the same track, but in the other direction. Oh my god, I've gone off. That sucks.
So the guy out in front, he's way up ahead. This is only number two. I got a lot of work to do, but at least I don't have anybody else in front of me besides this guy. It's the same dude, so if he wins... Whoa, where was the... Oh, there was no brake indicator on that one. What happened? I was not even paying attention. I don't think I'm going to beat this guy. As soon as you go off, you just totally ruin everything. God, understeering like a madman. Trying to keep it smooth. Focused on this guy. Unsportsmanlike conduct. I didn't really work. No, come on. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. See you later. Oh my. That was rude, but I got it. <laughs> oh man. So what does that mean? We got this. We're tied at 22 points for the whole thing. So who wins? At that point. So who gets the total amount? I mean, does it count as a first place win? Like, I don't know. Oh, man. That was number one overall. <laughs> I should have been dog points for that move, but... Uh, now we're going American Muscle. Where are the American Muscle fans at? All right, the 69 Vet. Most power for, uh, out of the all three, for sure, so... That was good shit, man. That was funny. I managed to salvage it. <laughs> what up, Mark? All right, we're ready to move on to the American Muscle now. <laughs> yeah, they do. Exactly. Honest guys finished last for sure. That's funny. All right, let's get our new uh, our new uh, setup here. Go to the cafe. Yeah, I gotta send them to the wall if we need to, right? You should now be able to access missions. Visit missions to try your hand at various challenging and enjoyable race situations. In fact, missions will be the theme of the next menu I've prepared. See you then. All right, a pavilion has been available. Try your hand at a mission. All right, next menu book. So, Blue Moon. Uh, Laguna Seca and Willow Springs, some uh, some uh, popular American racetracks. 
I want to hit up that corkscrew in Laguna Seca. That's going to be sick. Uh, Mark, welcome to the membership program, bro. I really appreciate that. You'll have access to the badges and emojis at that entry level. All right, for this menu, I'd like to give you give one of these missions a try. Mission select Magic Mountain. Try your hand. Deep Forest, the pass. Get bronze. You better come back and see me. All right, he'll have something for me. Yeah, the game has bumped me. It's true. It has happened so far. So I don't mind throwing hands or throwing fenders in this case. All right, let's head on over to the missions. See what they got for me. I do not have the Nurburgring Ring yet. No, I think that's considered an advanced track. Very advanced. One of, It's like the longest track in the circuit. Look at all these challenges you can do. I see. So Magic Mountain has... So it's similar to the licensing, but it's slightly different. All right, let's go with the pass. All right, so they want me to get first place. Overtake all cars by the finish line. How many cars do they want? They're giving me a 180SX to do it in. This guy's going to mess up my racing line. Yep, and he is. Get out of the way. I see, so you gotta reach top. Okay, I see, so you gotta get first place in that period of time. Gotcha, 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 okay. The Copen's an easy overtake. Fuck! <laughs> I tried to spear him. Oh, man. I was just, like, sight set. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait. Did I bump him? I don't think I'm allowed to hit anybody. I think I bumped him, and I wasn't allowed to do that. So, there's not going to be any dastardly moves here. It's not allowed. That sucked. That's rough. Sorry, I was trying really hard just to overtake, but I got a break. It's all in the apex. Yeah, see, as soon as you bump them, I'm barely touching the, the coping, and it's still cheesing. trying to slither in on the outside, but I just slightly tap it. I'm going way too wide. Oh, almost got it. I think that was a better time. No, wasn't as good. This one's tough. You really got to kiss the edge, don't you? You just got to kiss it. But it's hard to split them because they're in the way. He's trying to shut the door on me. See, I'm going to get... I'm going to take an L if I bump him. I got more power. Let's go! Yes! Got it that time. There you go. Inside was better than outside, so clearly that worked out nicely. Well, that worked out nicely. All right, well, there you go. So I'm going to be getting that sauce. We've put on 230 kilometers today. And there's more. I can do more. See, each one has their own. Again, I have no clue how long this is going to take me to get through these, but... Anyway, nice work. How was your first mission? The pass is a fun challenge, but there are plenty of other races you can try. I've also heard that you can win cars if you earn enough bronzes or gold. Sick. That's always fun. I owe you a reward. You earned it. Blue Moon Speed, Blue Moon Bay Speedway now. And Laguna Seca. And Willow Springs. The Mustang. Oh, let's get... Okay, let's see what they want for the Mustang here. Mustang Sally. Oh, it's three different Stangs. Okay. 
across three different generations. Well, 69, the Mach 1, the Boss, the Mach 1, and the GT. All right, for this menu, I'll be collecting Stangs. The Mustang series of high-performance cars were produced by Ford, considered an American classic. Uh, collect all three models and bring them back here. Then I'll tell you all about these legendary cars. What up, Lloyd? Hey, ma'am. No, this is uh, uh, Gran Turismo. It's PlayStation's racing sim. It's been around a long time. A lot longer than Forza. All right, World Circus time. Now, the thing about the American muscle car is that it's not really meant for cornering. The modern ones, yes, but these guys are going to feel like heavy, heavy shit. Uh, we'll start at Blue Moon Bay. All right, what are they going to give me? It needs to be American, and it needs to be front engine, rear drive. So I have the Corvette. What's the recommendation? 550. What is this one? It's a two... F I'm going to have to tune it. I'm going to have to tune the Stingray. Oh, sorry. I misread that. I thought it said, is this Forza? I prefer I prefer Horizon. I'm usually a Simcade guy. Usually. Okay, so we're going to have to do... I need to improve the handling. That much is clear. I need some... It's 20 grand, though. I think I might just do height for this. Height adjustable. Um, Because, I mean, I guess I could supercharge it. That'd be fun as shit. I know it's an NA, but, I mean, the LS engine in this is just a, you know... But I think if we're going to go all out, we might as well supercharge. I mean, how do you get only 300 horse from a V8? You know what I mean? It's not acceptable. So, I'm going to give it this supercharger. Going to hear that whine. It's going to sound dope. And we're going to need decent brakes. I don't know if I want to go correct, uh, uh, carbon ceramic at all. I don't think I want to do full carbon ceramic, but I'll go with this. Just to, We need to be able to stop. Uh, you know what I mean? Control all this weight because these cars are heavy. So uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Like a 5.7 liter and it's just, I mean, but it was the 60s, right? So I guess I got to give it that. Anyway, let's go to the tuning shop. No, no. Garage. We got to go ahead and mod these. I'm going to lower the car a little bit. It's already lower. Well, no, not really. It's going to lurch. The body will lurch. It's got a big heavy body. But man, is that ever pretty. Gotta love a classic vet. Anyway, let's go modify a few things. Oh, I should get new tires. That's something I forgot to do. Height adjustable. Let's lower this fucker. You're not gonna be able to lower it that much, but I will lower it. Oh, wait. The rear, you can... Oh, you can get a bit of a rake. I didn't even think of that. We can go with a rear rake, but I'll go with a... Make it even. You gotta look. Because you, you want it a little... I think you want it... Eh, no, you don't. So it's a 480... Wait, what is it now? What's the... Uh, the PP's now 485. What do they recommend? Actually, intake, I mean, it actually doesn't, oh shit, I didn't see this one, high RPM S, actually, it's still not high enough, it's only a 485, I gotta get it to a 500, right, is that what they said, it was like a 500, oh shit, okay, well, I'm not done tuning it then. The chase camera is very rigid, Kevin. I switched to it. You can it's it looks like the the car is moving like like that. Does that make sense? Stage 1 rate reduction. We dropped 400 pounds. That sounds worth it to me. Uh we got to go for tires. Tires are going to make a big difference here. Is there anything other than That's going to bring it up to a 632. I don't think I need to spend that much money on it. Let's go with Club Sport. Or no, sorry, let's go with this. We'll just go with uh, Sport Soft. That will bring us up to a 580. So that's kind of the re range we needed. Um, let me look. Where is that supercharger then? Is it under Extreme? No, I don't. Where's that, ex where's that supercharger? Because this is the only supercharger I'm seeing is the high-end torque. Interesting. It might, maybe it's not capable of it. That'll probably do us good, though. I think that's a good start. What up, Steph? Hey, Brittany. That's why I've been... I mean, it's... it's You don't really care that much, though, about the handling in that. Because I, you definitely want to go... Although, wait, they recommended 550. What am I at? 581. Okay, yeah, we should be fine. Alright, cool. 
Main rival cars, a lot of 70s muscle. So they recommend 550. We are a 581. So that's going to be pretty close. It's going to be close. But yeah, it, I, when you're inside the car though, like the cockpit cam, it's it doesn't matter. It's so immersive. Hey, Curtis. Man, hearing those V8s roar. This is that supercharger whine. Oh, baby. Oh, I forgot they're only four speed. Oh, I probably should. I wonder if we should have got a new gearbox. Whoops. Two hundred thirty K is not very fast. It's fine. Man, this thing just wants to slide. Look at that super B, that thing is badass. That's all she got. She is maxed out. Take him on the inside. Fuck you, man! <laughs> Oh, he's gonna be pissed. Just give him one of these in the rear view. <laughs> Let's go. Challenger is dealt with. It just wants to slide. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch or capture that guy. <laughs> There's no way I'm catching him. I need third place or higher, so I don't have to, but... <laughs> that was instant karma for sure. That is what I get. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah! Very tail happy. Man, I would love an extra gear. Sucks that I don't... Grandpa is still keeping up with the Mustang, though, of modern Mustang. Oh, see that? I oh! Did you see what happens? Like, literally, I ease off the throttle, and you give it a bootful, it's like, no, we don't, and it just spins. You can't do that. You know what I need? I need an LSD. This car needs an LSD for sure. to hit the wall to stay in control.
My pleasure, Logic. Shit! Oh, damn it. I snapped it. That's such a pain. I literally tried not to do that. I, I didn't I barely touched the the wheel. Later logic, have a good one, bro. I don't think I can catch him. I might have to bail and get an LSD for this car. I gotta feather the throttle, I can't just be pumping it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I, if I had changed, if I had altered that, I would have spun. All I gotta do is finish top three though, so it's like, do I need to? Four seconds behind, I mean, he had the most modern car. What does that say about it? All the classics are in the bottom. I mean, we, got, we just didn't get as much money as we would have. All right, there's the boss. All right, new helmet. It's our first bit of driving gear that we unlocked. I mean, they started me off at the bottom. What do you expect? Still pretty solid. I'm happy with that. We got the car we needed. That's all you needed to do. That, like, you're not going to get any bonuses other than a bit more money. So my question remains. Do I want to... Man, this car is... The thing is, I want to go to Laguna Seca, but it's not a track made for the classic American muscle car. So I'm going to go back to the tuning shop. I think it's going to need an LSD. I don't think I'm going to be able to hang without it. Um, so let's see. Fully customizable. That should help dial in a little bit that rear end's a little happy i don't think i want to um low end torque super wait what was the racing high end torque so that's better for uh what i was doing so that was probably good i mean because we need handling parts that's the thing we don't really need power it's the handling that we want Better tires. Everything else was pretty solid, but I could do. I don't want. To, I don't think we want more weight reduction. I think the car is just gonna be sliding around like a ding dong. How much does the car weigh? Three thousand pounds. Third, was that gonna drop me, or did I even get? Did I even get weight reduction? I did. I got one stage. Stage two is gonna drop it another like three hundred pounds. That's pretty light. I think the, the the LSD should help. I might bail out on that. Let me just see. The corkscrew is going to be... The, the corkscrew is going to really judge how we're going to hang. So let's go to the garage and let's just see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. All right, so sports, they're soft. So those are like probably the best tires you can get for what we're going to spend. Um, suspension, we've lowered the car already. Anti-roll is... Well, we don't have an anti-roll bar, unfortunately. Because that's what it needs. Honestly, I think stiffening would do this car good. Diff is fully customizable. So... Acceleration sensitivity. I don't even know where we'd want it. I don't know if we want it super sensitive. Let's Maybe we should drop it a bit. Let's drop it to like 33. Braking sensitivity because... Initial torque. You don't want too much torque at the beginning. You're just going to be spinning. 
Let's just kind of go easy at first and we'll see what happens. And then we'll see how it, uh, it works for us a little bit once we get to this next circuit. Laguna Seca with a vet. 69 vet on, like, you know, out of all vehicles to use. We'll see what happens. Yeah, you get, see, I, I lost out on 15,000. Yeah, I'm going to keep playing this game. I'm going to play this tomorrow as well. That Mach 1 is going to be sick. Let's see how we hang it. Car already feels better. It feels more planted. It's going a little wayward, that Mustang. This is the Corvette there that I would always use to dominate my brother back in the day. That old Stingray, I love it. Yeah, the car handles way better right now. You can just feel it in the corners. I, I cut a little, but it's for the greater good. Here comes the corkscrew. We're coming up to the corkscrew. Ah, we did that pretty good. Shit, this guy's in second. Who's up top? What's he driving? Challenger. In the chat, let me know. What about you guys? Ford, Mopar, or Chevy? What are you picking? I got that supercharger boosted. Yeah, this is a completely different car with that limited slip diff. Holy hell. Corkscrew is something else. Oh my god, this stank. Uh, sorry, I almost called it a stank. This vet, excuse me, is uh, is just, it's like a completely different car with this LST. It's crazy. It is actually handling quite well as I go into the sand on the final straight. No! I spoke too soon! It's okay, it's a Challenger. I think I, I got the power on him. It's fine. That went well. So nice, huh? We'd be looking good up here. I gotta change my helmet. Mach 1's been unlocked. Now we just gotta get the 15 Mustang GT. The most modern of the bunch. It's a good looking car. Classic stang or classic muscle is mo is money in the bank. I keep saying stangs. I don't know why. I think it's just a word I like to say. The classic. Always sounds better when it's a classic. All right, now we're heading to Willow Springs. 
This should be fun. All right, I'm ready. I can't wait to drive the vet again, man. Oh, did I miss that? Oh, Logan, thank you so much for the super chat, bro. Did it play? I must have misheard it. It must have played. I must have heard it. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate that super chat. Let's get it going. Super B is being a butthole. Yeah, see, the car is just way more under control in that tail. Like, it's so controllable. See, I was able to recover that. It was kind of ghetto, but... I'm kind of going all over the place here. Oh shit! Not not going to the pits, we're fine. Holy hell, that could have been rough. I still got a lot of work to do. All right, those are the top two guys. Sliding a little bit. All right, got the Viper to take down. One of the biggest V10s they've ever produced. And it only generated like 500. But the torque figures are pretty massive too. I don't want to overdo it in these corners because it might get a little squiggly on me. Solid. That was a much better corner than the first time, hey? I'll take it. I will say, Max, yeah, the, the, graphically I was expecting a bit more. I'm on PS5 too, this is this is PS5. I'm not in 4K though. I'm in like 1440, so it's upscaled. So I'm sure the 4K looks a little better, but I, even then it should still look mind blowing on the PS5, but it, it really doesn't. It still kind of looks like a PS4 game. All right, third and final stang for that list. Oh, I just shy of a level nine. They're doing me dirty there. All right, good stuff. Back to the cafe to report our findings. Or report our success, I should say. That's a cool photo. BSEC driver mode? I'm not familiar with that. What is that one? Uh, congrats, you've got all three cars. This completes your Mustang collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you. All right, cool. New track. That Mach 1's blue, like that blue Mach 1 looks so clean. 
You can't talk about American sports cars without mentioning the Ford Mustang. First gen Mustangs introduced in 64 occupy a very special place in automotive history. The car was unveiled at the World's Fair in New York and 100,000 orders were placed within a month. It was a relatively small two-door sports car that came with the choice of either V6 or V8 power plant. The Boss Ford 29 was built to compete in U.S.'s immensely popular NASCAR series, or races, and the legendary GT350 was developed in collaboration with esteemed American race driver Carroll Shelby. These aren't ma there aren't many cars that boast more than half a century of history. That's what makes the Ford Mustang a quintessential American pony car. I have not seen a drag strip yet. No. Now we're going for the Camaro. I've never been a huge Camaro guy, personally. Now that you have a Mustang collection, I'd like you to move on to Camaros. Camaro is another high-performance classic produced by General Motors' Chevrolet brand. It traces its history back to the rise of American muscle car in the 60s. Collect all three models and come back to see me. I, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to understand. Like you're saying, like you just go up against AI. You didn't race. Like you just let them do it. So like they would race for you. I'm just wondering. Let's see what they want out of me. I might. I don't know if we can just keep going with the vet. Little Springs. All right, third place. All right, what do they recommend? A 600? We're not there yet. I might get something a little more modern, honestly. I might, like, get... Uh... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on a minute. Let me let me go back there. Shit, my bad. Let me go back. We don't have a whole lot of time left uh, in stream. I'll be going for, like, another 40 minutes, roughly. So... Okay, we'll get a Camaro. It's probably the ZL1. What are the limits? It's got to be, yeah, it's got to be US. So I might actually build up a Mustang spec just to be a little better in the, in the corners. A little less finicky. I got to spend more money that way, but I think it'll be worth it. Okay, so change. These are all my current vehicles. All right. Let's see what we got. All right, so let's start with a good base, the Mustang GT. It's American. It's got a good platform to start with. And let's go tune it. Oh, I'm sure that's here, Ethan. I haven't seen that, but I'm sure it's in the game. It's already got sports, but it's a hard. I think we need a like because it's just all 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 motor this thing. So we, I think a simple way of doing it is is dropping in a supercharger. I wonder where that one supercharger is that they keep talking about. This is the only one I'm seeing. Okay. They recommend a 600 for this, right? So we'll get a new intercooler as well. Just basic shit. It'll it'll make a difference. It's cheap. New exhaust, carbon ceramic brakes. Might be good for all the weight. I don't know if I want to spend that much money though on brakes. I right, three grand's a little more understandable. That'll help us with the braking. Fully customizable suspension. I think I'll just save it and go with the height adjustable. Save a bit of cash. LSD for sure. I mean, this car will handle a lot better than it's, uh, you know, than the classics will. Damn it. I wasn't trying to leave. Okay, so we'll do some weight reduction. It's a heavy car. I don't know if I want to do two-stage or not. Ah, screw it. We'll do two-stage. 
Get it right below that 3,000. That's a pretty powerful car for its weight. So. New cams. Do I want to spend it on cams? I don't think I want to go out. Of, well, fuck it. Let's just do it. They want 600, they recommend. So I'm going to go a little bit higher. Four is going up. Again, if you push it too high, though, the car is going to have trouble, trouble staying on the track. So, do I want to keep going? That's 13A. That's a little expensive. I don't think I want to bother, that, bother with that. YOLO. It's only 4,500. Unlock the potential. I, again, I don't want to spend that much more. I think that's probably good. <laughs> 608 PP. So, what we'll do is just, we'll just lower... What am I doing? Sorry. Uh, garage. We will lower it a bit. Those are fine. The front can go a little lower, obviously, than the rear, but... I'll leave it at the... Yeah. Let's roll with that. Okay, the diff... Bring it down to a 30. We'll do a 35 this time. That seemed to work. Well, we did a 33, but we'll, that should be good. All right, let's finish this up. Let's go for it. This should help us. Pretty insane power from here. And we've got most of the world circuits. Makes me wonder how long the next... I wonder how long this mode actually is. You know what I mean? Like, just for the races? Like, just to do the... Like, what I'm doing? What's up, Leonardo? kilometers an hour. Hold it. You're fine. It's fine. It's fine. We lost paint. It, it, you can paint it again. That extra power gain I gave is just having me blitz the competition. Like, it's it's a bit overkill. That's why it's funny. was crazy I stayed at like 280 kilometers an hour to 300 like for a good chunk of time my goodness 
Now that was just an oval track, so just wait until we get into something a little more intense. You know, with more corners. We'll see what the Stang can really do at that point. Alright, the Z28 Camaro. Give me that level 9. You know you want to. There it is. I mean, that's a cool cinematic cam, isn't it? Okay, next one up, we are going back to, actually, Blue Moon. Didn't we, weren't we just there? Oh. Which one did I do? Did I do Northern Isle? No. Oh, I did the Daytona one. I must have done Daytona. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. Sorry. All right, well, there's Willow Springs again. Or we'll, I was supposed to start up here. That's okay, though. Uh, I get money. I, I think I like I get I think I get 15 grand for these events right now. So if I get first place, I get 15. Second place is 9k. really gonna potentially bite me in the butt Wait, is that what is that Those are Teslas. They actually have Teslas on the track right now. The car is spinning quite a lot. Drifting around the Tesla. Forced in, or sorry. Internal combustion beats electric, bitch. <laughs> As it passes me. This is where I can catch him up on this street. Recover, that's okay, we recovered, okay. Don't do it too much, you will spin. See what I mean? I'm spinning too much. You can't even catch. Nice and easy. Oh, look at that drift. Let's go. Now I lose them on this straight. I still have that extra gear to play with. That's crazy. That sucked. That 
That was a shitty turn. Yeah, I'm spinning. I was spinning in like third gear, fourth gear there. That's crazy. Even with all these mods, I guess I could have gone with a softer tire that might incre increase my grip a little, but it's maintainable. It's totally fine. 286k. I wonder if we can crack 300 kilometers in the stream. All right, we just have the one Camaro SS. I mean, the ZL1 would probably be fun, but I'm sure its handling isn't super good. You know what I mean? So, I'm actually getting a cramp in my hand. So, I, I don't know how much longer I can drive for. We'll see, guys. Okay, so we have our last one for this challenge. Willow Springs. This is really a... This one's a challenge that will test the whip for sure. What's up, Unique? Let's give her. Oh, he's, he's showing... Oh, look at this. He's bumping. Shit, I'm going off. Oh, cock. All right, well, that's, that's a mistake. That was a big mistake. I didn't break hard enough. Mercy. Oh, damn it. Shit. Hey, I lost all my positions with that stupid move. Ah, oh, I have so many places to make up. I don't even know if it's worth it.
Damn it, every chance I get, I just muck it up by doing something like that. so frustrating going off like that. I have one lap. I need that. If I didn't mess that up, I would have had a good line coming out. Take your time, strike at the right moment. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me a DeLorean is up front? No way, bro. That thing has no power. How the heck? What? All right, I'll take it in the straight. No way, bro. DeLorean up front. It shouldn't even be here. Even if it hit, manages to hit 88 mile an hour, it's going to be in a different time anyway. Get out of here. With that garbage. No, don't lose it. It must have an engine swap. That car should have had a V8 in it. Almost lost it, but I got it. You're gonna see some serious shit. <laughs> oh man, we managed to come back, even after some mistakes. I will take that money. There, 300 kilometers. Like, right on the money, we got 300 kilometers. Right there, we got 300 exactly. What are the odds of that? And that's all three Camaros in the bag. I think that's a good time to kind of call the stream, ladies and gents. Whew. That was wild. Let's go talk to him and get our money back kind of thing. Just let him know what's good. Oh, man. So we can do some of those other ones, too. But I'm going to keep going with the cafe ones. The cafe ones are kind of what I'm about. But based on that, I wonder if, like... Well, let me go to the world circuits. How many world circuits have we unlocked? Okay, 5 of 10 for the Americas. 6 of 15 for here. 5 of 9. So it really just depends. I wonder how many more we're going to get. I mean, we still have Laguna Seca. It makes me wonder how long this mode actually is. Like, is this like a two-stream, a three-stream event? I don't know. But, um... That's a cool photo. Gotta love rollers, right? Rollers are sick. Congratulations, you got all three. This completes your Camaro collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about these cars. All right, there's a two-star roulette ticket. Let's see what Chris has to say. Ford Mustang has been celebrated as a legendary American sports car ever since it hit the market in 64. Well, look at this exceptional 7th gen model, which just might entice you to shout Mustang's rule. Incorporating the essence of its predecessors, it boasts a proud lineage without relying too heavily on retro design cues. The star of the show is undoubtedly the V8, en V8 engine found in this GT. For a car with so much power, it came with an astonishing, astonishingly reasonable price tag. All right, menu book number 15, the Camaro collection. Done. Chevrolet is one of General Motors' most storied brands. Its legendary Camaro sports car first appeared in 67. It was created to take on the popular Mustang, which was produced by rival Ford. Along with the Mustang, the Camaro shined 
in the Trans Am series during the 60s. In fact, the first generation Z28 Camaro was fitted with an engine specially designed for Trans Am competition. The fifth generation Camaro appeared in 06 and became very popular after appearing in a series of films. Yeah, like Bumblebee in Transformers. The sixth gen ZL11LE made waves after posting a Nurburgring lap time that was worthy of a supercar. After this and the loyal following has made the Camaro a sought after collector's car today. Well, there you go. Take a photo of your car and scapes. Well, I'm going to go do that. That's easy. I'm just going to go do that one really quick. Have you visited the Scapes Pavilion? I haven't. It's a haven for travel lovers where you can take photos of your favorite cars in all sorts of scenic locations. Your goal for this may is to try out some of the Scapes. Take a spot you find intriguing for or eye catching. Take a photo, then come back here. Have fun. All right, well, I'm not going to do it in this car. I'm actually going to do it in the. Uh, I'm going to do it in the M3. I'm going to open my, my, my thing as well. Hey, actually, I'm doing good. How are you? Open up our gift. Hoping for a free car. Chance of getting a free car are very slim. But we'll see what happens. At least give me a big old pile of money. The smallest pile of money they have. Thanks for that. 5,000 credits. Hey, 5,000 credits is 500. 5,000 credits, so... Okay, let's go to the scape. Hey, Oliver. Oh, or, or, or Olivier. Hey, Sarah. You must be Dan that I've been hearing about. Nice to meet you. I'm Olivier. I'm a photographer. Here in scapes, you can photograph your favorite car in more than 2,500 spots around the world. You can visit these spots from the menu and you left Switzerland, America, wherever you want. And you'll have to access a fully functional camera so you'll be able to get creative when you look for that perfect shot. This place is a fantastic playground for a photographer like myself. By the way, are you familiar with using a camera? Yes, to a degree. That's great. You should have a lot of fun here. You should go try taking some shot in scapes and get familiar with the camera. My first scapes. Let's get out there and take some cool ones. All right. Picked up five spots for you to start with, and I've set it all up in advance. Choose one that you like, and then go to the camera menu and shoot. Once you do this, it'll expand your horizons. All right, so we can go to Australia, Victoria... The Great Open Road, Porta Rosa in Florence. Can you imagine an M3 in like, like Florencia? And it doesn't. It, it just wouldn't work. That's cool. Arashiyama Bamboo Forest in Kyoto. Around the, this is in Iceland. That's that wouldn't make sense. Iwati, Japan. I'm gonna do the Bamboo Forest, dog. That's gonna be sick. This is the Chikurin no Komichi, a trail in Kyoto, Japan. Let's practice adjusting the focus. We'll leave the car where it is. You can press the R1 button to bring out the camera mode. Well, that's... Can I change the car? Why? Oh, I should be able to change my car. I'll turn them off. Brake lights, turn signals, hazards. Place a new car. There you go. No, I don't want to. Oh, look, you can literally just. That's cool. Da 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 da. You can literally put this thing down in like it's following. How do you remove the car? Oh, delete selected car. There you go. Uh, hold on. Change selected. No, I want that. Can I move it, please? Okay, let's just delete it. <laughs> it's like a shark. I always take it. I always go, um, they call them position lights. Get those halos rolling. Dust. No, we don't want any dust. It's got to be clean as hell. No. None of that. It's got to be clean as shit. Key lights are on. 
Driver's got to be on. No, driver will be off. He got out. He got out to take the photo. Light intensity. Oh, that's the wrong light. Okay. Raindrops. Okay. I'm cool with this. Camera, you'll be able to adjust your focus. Start by setting the focus option to single as fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I know. In the settings menu. Then with square held down, move the left stick to manually adjust. Okay. Try to focus on the car in the foreground. Notice how sharp it appears against the blurry forest background. Naturally, focusing on the background will have a subject in the foreground blur. When picking a focus point, you want to consider what it is you want to highlight when people see your photo. Single as fuck. Oh, I can actually get. That's kind of cool. I like that. Any effects? In effects, you'll be able to apply various effects to the photo you've taken. Preset effects are a simple way of giving your photo. This is like Photoshop. Make it a cooler. Fo no, you don't want. You want it a little bit on the cooler side. That's too cold. What was it? Forty-eight hundred K. Forty-five hundred K, probably. I'm fine with that. Take that shot. That's okay. I turned that. Wait, the tables got turned off. Okay, whatever. Good. We done here? Okay, I'm trying to go back. Well done. Are you happy with the photo you took? Whenever you take a good shot, be sure to share it. You can see the photos that others have shared while visiting the showcase. While it's fun to compete with other drivers in sport and multiplayer mode, sometimes it's nice to just be able to swap your favorite photos. And I suppose I'd better give you a reward. It's all yours. What'd you give me? So yeah, the new new course. Trial Mountain Cup. All right. Well, I don't have the time to do this one today, but I will start it. It's in Japan. Okay, for this menu, I'd like you to go to World Circus and enter the Trial Mountain Cup. The race will take place in the middle of a national park surrounded by the scenic American wilderness. Why does it say Japan, though? Oh, for doing it. Okay, I was going to say, why is it in Japan? Okay. So, race requires a lot of a skill. Therefore, it's open to only national A licenses. So, I've actually... I've actually go get an A license. So, people were asking about A licenses. I've got to go get that. Once you've earned your national A, you can head over to World Circuits. Our goal is to finish the top three. Everyone in the cafe will be rooting for you. So, before I can even do these next challenges, I have to go get my A license. I've already gotten my B. So, I feel like all the events we did were B license events today. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I guess it depends. Very nice. That'll be good. All right. Well, so I guess we got... Technically, we go, this is where we're going to have to go. Uh, we got all our national Bs. We've already done national Bs. So I'm guessing there's a series of events for each license. So national A is another set. And then so there's like five for each one. I don't know. We shall see. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and split this here. Split the stream. We'll be back tomorrow on launch day. For some more uh gran turismo 7 we'll work on those get a few more things keep on pushing through it it's gonna be a good time originally i wasn't sure if i wanted to cover this game but i'm glad i did it's a lot of fun i've been enjoying it with you guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this first stream this little preview uh version or you know a little early access peek at gran turismo 7 if you guys enjoyed it make sure you leave a like on the stream a little like goes a long way if everyone just slapped like right now it would make a world of difference be sure to comment your thoughts and be sure to subscribe if you're new
I'd love to have you guys back for more content. We're not just playing Gran Turismo. We're playing a lot of other games like Horizon, Forbidden West, some sports titles, all sorts of stuff coming out soon. So make sure you hit subscribe. Turn on post notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss anything that I put out. Don't forget to like, follow all my social medias as well. I've got a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Discord. They're all linked in the description. And if you want to follow my M3 Instagram there, uh, I actually own the E92 M3, and I've tried to style it as close to mine. That one on Instagram is Dan underscore E92 M3 if you want to check that out. Um... If you want to get a shirt or hoodie of mine, there's a link in the description. It's also enjoy, uh, embedded right below the stream. You can scroll down and see some stuff I have there. Big shout out to all the sponsors of the stream. DX Racer, Bones Coffee, Always Bearded, The Ridge Wallet, Mad Rabbit Tattoo, and Jake's Custom Controllers. I've been using my own Danky 8000 Mark I controller. You can get this controller, and you can change the name if you want. You can change a bunch of stuff on it, but you can get this build uh, for PS5, PS4, and Xbox with the link in the description. All those sponsors use my promo code DanQ8000 to save at checkout. Finally, guys, be sure to check out and sign up for the Team 8000 membership program if you haven't done so already. It does support the page quite a lot. It goes a little above and beyond. There's three uh, tiers available depending on whatever budget you're working with. An entry, basic, and a premium with that entry level starting at just 99 cents. You'll get perks such as badges by your name, custom emojis, use in chat, exclusive videos and streams when I do those, priority in open lobbies. If you go to the top tier, tw or, uh, top tier premium, uh, a tier, you'll get a 20% off discount code to use my merch store, as well as entry in a monthly game giveaway where at the start of each month, I take all premium members, throw them in draw, pull a name, and that person will win a game of their choice. Um, they tell me what game to buy. I buy it. I send it their way. It's literally as simple as that. You can join that with the link in the description. There's also a join button below the video and on my main channel page as well. Guys, thank you so much. I had a blast playing Gran Turismo 7. We'll be back tomorrow with some more, and we're going to take on some more licenses, more challenges, more uh, menus, all sorts of stuff. We hit right on 300 kilometers for the day. That's pretty crazy that it was bang on. That's impressive. So um, what's cool about that, if you look at the top right corner, it says 1545. That's 345 p.m. on March 3rd. That is actually my local time. That is accurate so i think that's pretty cool how they did that so we'll be back tomorrow i hope i see you guys then uh for the full launch for i mean this is the full version but we'll be back on launch day so make sure you check it out and hopefully i will see you then otherwise guys have a great weekend and i hope i see you in another stream again soon all right thanks guys we'll see you next time okay take care peace